Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching in the world. It is Saturday, April 13th, and it is a possible clinching day to get promotion into League One. Excited for it. I'm nervous. Uh, it's uh, I put a poll up that says, how are you feeling? Are you, are you edgy? Are you confident? Are you nervous? Do you not even know? <clears throat> I said nervous, but I'm probably more edgy. Like, I'm, I'm excited about the opportunity. Look, let's put it into perspective here. Um, we need three outcomes today. We need we need to secure all three points. Um, that's a, up against an FGR team where you're confident home. What are you giving us chances for that? 66%, 75%, 80%. Um, is that what the bookkeepers will give? Um, you know, then you've got to have uh, a draw or a loss in the MK Dons uh, Mansfield game, which I've got up on my kids' little tiny <laughs> iPad um, next to this one. So just so that I can kind of get a flow as to what's happening there. And then uh, 17 quid to, or no, 17 bucks, $17 Canadian to uh, Mansfield. And then we've got the uh, barrel game where they have to drop. So uh, drop points. So we're looking at what, a 40% chance. I see everybody is there. Where is the game, Jay? Uh, Taglandia, if if you're not familiar, I follow you down below. Don't buy the monthly subscription because we've only got three left. Uh, just buy the regular ones. So... I should be going right now. I just want to check and make sure everything's flowing away. Uh oh, have I been talking to myself? No. It's still an early morning for me. The the brain's still firing, and I'll figure everything out. Um, the graphics and all that sort of stuff. A little bit slept on that because I was working on other things yesterday. So I've only got the referee one up. I didn't put the statistics up for us. And then it ended up being not a lot of changes through the lineup. We'll deal with that later because it'll be really easy to go. So I just kind of want to talk about the moment. So anyways, we will have the Mansfield Town game. I've got that right here. I, w and G is going to have to tell me. Um, and I see that you're here. That's awesome. If the scoreboard worked for you, I've been working on kind of a, a full overhaul, which I think I'll connect with you on uh, at some point in time to figure out about next season and what's happening and how to work it and what options we've got available for us. Remember, if you are a member, I'm going to have that meeting probably looking to have it around the same time as the Women's uh, Welsh Cup match against Cardiff, which I believe off the top of my head is May 5th. So end of the season, just sort of get together, have a chat and say, hey, what are the plans for next season? What could I do better? What could I improve around with the graphics? What, how do we want to spend the money? Do we upgrade the computer? Do we do some API? Do we market? Do we just do giveaways? Do we save it? What are the plans? So feel free to look at joining the membership stuff if that's a thing for you. And I'm going to bring up the chat and just follow along and kind of chat with you guys for this one because there's really not a lot of stuff to do. That's the question, WNG. Has anybody even noticed Morecambe losing their three points, completely removing them from the situation? And the reason why the owner just had to put money into the bank account to make sure everybody got paid, and he didn't do it. Uh, and he had a warning and was told this would be the outcome. And I don't get why that doesn't happen. There's just. Football is a unique creature. At least, at least compared to the North American sports, in that there just seem to be so many absolute putzes that end up getting control of football clubs. You've got a directors and officers test, and then it just continues to fail. So, uh, fascinating stuff. Um, yeah, Deandra, hopefully that answers that question. Just that's all they had to do: put money in a bank account, and and they, and they didn't do it. One hundred twenty-five thousand is that what it was? WG, I think off the top of my head. Um, click like for great justice. That's, that's like the greatest little ad ever for a <laughs> really, <laughs> for a really bad cartoon. Click like for great justice. Um, but yes, let the algorithms know that we're here. I'm expecting to have a full packed house, everybody having a good one. And, uh, and, and we'll see where we end up going here. Um, you know, there's so much going on scoreboard watch and all that sort of stuff. If we do get promoted, try not to count the chickens before they hatch don't spin as my com computer says you know what i'm going to take some time to think my eye follow has been giving me a little bit of grief too many people looking to log into it it is and it's just mismanagement it's 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 
mismanagement and, and almost intentional mismanagement that just people get away with. I mean, I, I don't understand the financial model of we're going to pay a way more in excess than we're ever going to hope to return. Yes, there is going to be an after 90 minutes after the chat. I will be putting that link up at some point in time and f- figured out a couple of new tricks with the actual YouTube channel itself. It's just an ongoing learning process. This whole experience is. And so I, I agree. There are people who suggest otherwise, but I would suggest they're wrong. Um, those Rob and, and Ryan have, uh, you know, they've taken on some debt and, but they haven't because it came from the parent club that's getting um, documentary dollars. So they found a way to monetize the absolute crap out of this project. And it, it is an amazing project. And it's one that we've all got stuck in and got emotional on with and about that wakes us up early in the morning and makes us not want to go to sleep. Hey, wants truth. Oh no, you got locked out. Nah, that's a nightmare. Well, welcome and 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 happy to have you smash that like button down below and we'll jump into it and it sounds like most of you guys are confident um i liken it to being kind of like a teenage boy on his first date i remember all those emotions i i I don't want to think ahead as to how awesome it could be and i'm also really really nervous if something goes completely wrong and ass over tea kettle and it's gonna have to pick myself up afterwards but we shall see how it goes. Um, if, uh, if you didn't hear and you're just joining, I do have the Mansfield game up on the uh, the kid's iPad next to it. So I'll be following along with that. W and G, I, I didn't miss the score to see if you've got that. And, and Brendan, if you were able to get into the flop counter, whether I have to load it up, I will say to both of you guys, if you go to the normal link that has score, the, the, the normal link, but then put slash boards um, that's gotten me in every single time. So I'm hoping that that works for you. So the regular URL and then slash boards, B O R B O A R D S. Morning wood. No, um, <laughs> a little excitable, excited, nervous energy. Let's just put it that way. So nervous. Yeah. It just comes as a blank screen, eh? Interesting. Okay, I will load them up. I, I have figured out a solution, but it's a little bit more involved. I don't know if you're interested in doing it or if you don't want to do it or whatever, but I'll t- explain what that is and all that sort of stuff that I'm going to load up all of the controls to make, oh, shoot, to make sure I have those so that the boards are ready to go. And we will be here for after the 90. I don't know uh, exactly who's all going to be joining us this time. Uh, I expect Josh from the local pundit. I expect Matt and uh, Stace will probably join there together. I've seen the pictures of the two of them banging around uh, the race course and doing their thing. Talk about the controversy. What a gong show that was. FGR gets a 2.2, 2.3 million hit tweet, view tweet, um, tweeting about A, how not to... The alcohol is not available in the, the away end. Um, well, that's always the case at the race course. There's a regulation that says that the place that you buy the booze can't be seen from the pitch. Interesting regulation. I'm curious as to where that came from and the story in the background and how, anyway, uh, what that looks like. But that's why they don't have apparently um, booze down there. And then, yeah, there's WG noting for everybody. They're a vegan team. And so... <laughs> No alcohol in the away section. No alcohol in the away section. And so Forrest Green then puts out the the note that says that they will not allow for any anti-Welsh singing and that the police will be contacted. (laughs) And everybody's like, what the hell? Most Wrexham fans were like, we sing about shagging sheep. Um, It's literally in our songs. You sing whatever the hell you want to sing about and have a good time doing it. But I think it all comes about uh, a recent ban that occurred because somebody called someone an English bastard, uh, which I find a little excessive myself. But hey, um, you know, tragedy cheering is one thing. You slap the crap out of anybody who tragedy cheers. Um, but I don't get the whole somebody said a bad word, so that's not going to be okay. Hey, Jeannie, how are you? And yeah, all 250 of them. But the best part was is the the... the 
the response that came out that from from um, a fake Wrexham account that said that no anti-vegan chanting was going to be around. And then I I modified the chant and said, instead of shagging all the sheep, I was like, um, we're shagging all the meatballs and you can have a drink. Ole, ole, ole. So anyway, a little bit of pick me up on this one is the number two team in the league takes on number 24 and we jump right into it and it should be a good one. No freedom. Well, <clears throat> I'm okay with the tragedy stuff. And I mean, you want to talk freedom of speech. We don't, freedom of speech means, yeah, you're not going to have the government come after you and the, and the police and all that sort of stuff, but we still have hate speech obligations, right? And so it, there are certain limits and I can see where they fit in society. Tragedy chanting, I can see why they put that in there. That fits its hate speech. You also just can't go running around and start calling people uh, things that qualify as hate speech. But at a football game, there's a line. I got it. Okay, so I'll be all over the place, but that's fine with me. I've got kids iPad. I got the stream here. I got you guys here. I've got stats and stuff over here. And we're I'll just I'm having a good time with this whole thing. And I'm gonna be clicking around and, and trying to give you guys the best as I can. I know Ruth was on the very first post. She's listening in the car, uh, driving. So that's gonna be a good one, relying on me to be the ear. So I'm gonna be trying to give as much play by play as I can. And I get I get the restri restrictions. I just don't get the what what does it matter if you can see it from the pitch, right? I I understand why you want to make sure people aren't over over consuming and that sort of stuff. But we got the Oregon coast, Cascadia brethren, I suppose. Uh, a term used for the, the football rivalry between Portland, Seattle, and the Vancouver Whitecaps. <laughs> people, is that David? Is that really the quote that Davis put out there? If people were banned for calling me a sheep shagger, I'd have been playing to empty stadiums for the last three years. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Andrew's at the game. He snuck in for this one. You lucky dog. And I appreciate the program, bud. That's going to be amazing. Um, I'm hoping that makes it through. Can, yeah, I know. I just want to get to it. Hey, let's do I talk about the roster really, really quickly? I mean, no changes for us. Simple as right. And, and would you make any changes? I don't think I would. Uh, not after a performance like that. You let those guys go again. Well, th yeah, that part makes chance, makes sense to me, especially given the propensity of people to throw them on the pitch, right? Kombawa from Tokyo is almost 11 p.m. Becky, you can do it. I believe in you. If, if Becky goes quiet, everybody feel free to give her uh, a, a kick in the shins through the internet and wake her up. Uh, I know, isn't that awesome? So that's... It's kind of cool how this watch party's turned out is because now we're starting to connect with a lot of Rexamites who end up going there. I mean, Andrew's been with us since since the start, but uh, Matt and, and Stace connecting with them and they're they're there together and people that go over, it's, it's a good time because it gives that different perspective that we can't get, right? Because we're stuck over here. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, no changes for us. And that is all glorious and wonderful and splendid. I'm just going to bring up theirs. Um, four changes for them over the team that we last met. Um, Innes is in for Garen uh, in the back. Not, nothing really there. Um, equal sort of in minutes and, and expectations and who they are as people and players. Um, Dabo replaces Bunker. Bunker was their fifth, uh, fifth most minute man for the team. And so, or sorry, Dabo was the fifth most minute. M Bunker's not that far off. So I don't see that being that big of a change. It's a little bit step down in minutes, but it could be form. It could be injury but not a really big drop off. The interesting, change, interesting changes for me are more up front. You've got Jones, number 28. He's a 23 year old Welshman who hasn't got a lot of minutes um, and he's replacing a 23 year old Englishman uh, who, who, I mean, they didn't, they did they, neither one of them were eating up minutes. And so it just seems like it might be same age, I don't know if they're the same quality player. Uh, I know nothing about it, but as far as same age, maybe just given the Welshman an opportunity in Wales to go and put on a show, as it were, uh, over the English guy. And But the more interesting change to me is Garrick. 
who's been with the team the entire season, but this is only his fifth game and his third or sixth game and his third start. Uh, he's got two goals, but replacing McAllister, who is their top minute guy. So they've gone for a complete wholesale change up front to try and find something to stir the drink and to rescue the season. Remember Forrest Green's gone on that crazy run of having all five. Uh, can he? I, he wouldn't be. He wouldn't make the team, the the Canadian national team, anyways. Sorry, not what. My sound is low. I will bump it up. How's that? Oh, that might be a little bit too bit too high. There, that should be good for you guys then, if you're able to adjust your volume so that no, everybody's not on the maximum, and we'll get that one going. Thank you for that, Andy. I appreciate it. Among the thugs. So anyway, that's that's the lineup change. I didn't bring the statistics up. They're pretty much self-explanatory and what you'd expect. No changes really from us. I did want to bring up the referee. So there, Sonny Singh Gill. Uh, and did, is that? The... That's not right. See, I don't know what happened with the with the graphics today. Um, I, I got the changes. They didn't work. Um, Sonny Singh Gill, just off the top of my head, because I remember the stats, but they didn't work for the for the graphic for whatever reason. Um, working on things and tech tech stuff in the background, trying to automate and trying to figure things out. Um, he is average in fouls, light on yellow cards, but his average compared to most is that he does. He's not afraid to give away pens and he's not afraid to give away red cards. He's in the top twenty in the league in both of those departments. So he's given pens and and. We'll see what that means, but okay, great. It's better now. Perfect. The volume is at, is all set up. Yeah, the pro I don't think I can select. I can give them out, but I can't pick. So Andrew's got to turn on the uh, the gift memberships, and we can figure it out. I I, I will. I want to. If I do the membership stuff, I'd like to get Andrew in, but he and I chat quite frequently. And so it, it's going to be what it is. And I'm getting a little bit of lag today. And I'm just going to check while we're here to troubleshoot and make sure that I'm on the fastest stream possible before kickoff. So I'm going to swap this. So this may be a bit to reconnect here. That's the biggest one. And I, I will also take uh, Jill and I'm taking out Barrow or at least getting a draw with them. Um, either one of those would be fascinating and wonderful and splendid combinations for me. Need three points, and we need both Barrow and MK Dons to drop points. Doesn't matter if they draw, doesn't matter if they win, just have to drop points. I am watching the Mansfield game here. I'll see if I actually get a chance to avert my eyes over to it to see what's happening. Uh, I don't know. Um, and I'm running the whole scoreboard here. So I'm going to rely on WNG. He'll put them, I'm sure, into the chat uh, over here. And we'll figure all that out in the flop counter. And we'll see where it's at today. Oh, looks like most of you guys are confident. 49% feeling this one. I, I'm a little bit edgy. Like I said, teenager first date. So yeah, Mike, I recall. Lot, to be fair, lots of you guys continuing to come over, and that's amazing. Like, smash the like button down below, and let everybody know that we're we're here and we're doing our thing, and we're gonna have a good one as we warm this one up. Um, still a lot of time before kickoff, another six minutes. Alberto, thank you, new member. And if and if you wanted to do the new member thing, you can hit the join button. It's only a dollar. You get use of the badge. You contribute to me being able to do my thing, putting money in the pocket. What we're going to get together as members and we'll talk about what are we doing with the ad revenue and the and the donations and that sort of stuff. Darkness signing up. Thank you so much for subscribing as we look to get to 1600. I will say this last Tuesday or this Tuesday was the craziest time this stream has ever like I it was bonkers. I went from I, I gained 60 subscribers. I gained 51 members. Um, thank you to Chris, if Chris logs in for donating so many of those to, to everybody. Um, I throttled the record for most earnings on a stream. I, I in nine months, I've got to 20,000 hours right now, probably because of the, the, the I've hit 21,000. I've hit a thousand hours just in the one day, uh, which for me is bonkers. I know I'm just this small little have, you know. 
nugget in the corner of YouTube doing Wrexham stuff and not massive, but I just think that's crazy that uh, we're continuing to grow. We're continuing to do stuff. Oh, you wait. You wait. I don't think I'm going to get it done before the end of the season, but um, I've the one thing that has been amazing about this entire process, as much as it has been the community and everything, is also how much I've learned about OBS and everything. So graphic cards gets in, and uh, I expect, I'm hoping, for big things. So we'll figure it out. So we'll get together um, over the summer and have a couple of chats about that. And I'm probably going to watch some of the uh, Canada men's national team, common ball, uh, UA, uh, bureaus are going on. So it's going to be a busy summer. So at least we'll have that to deal with. I'm, I'm, I'm looking ahead. I don't want to look ahead. It's right now. It's right now. Are we there? The sheep way getting a forest green today. <laughs> We're not allowed to say that it could land you in jail. Chattanooga, Tennessee, back in the house again. A2Z Z is here. You're going to miss the first 15 minutes. Don't do it. It's fascinating to me, um, and I'll just bring this up here. This is what the MK Don Stadium looks like today. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's empty. They're fighting for promotion, and they're empty. Got their fans stuck up on the top corner from Mansfield. I hit 1600. You guys are freaking awesome. I mean, it's just madness. I just a silly Canadian who f fell in love with a football club, like many of you guys, who uh, does this thing and has some fun. And I'm glad that it's continuing to grow and long may it continue. And we'll see what happens and how far we go. Well, the good news, the big announcement, if you didn't catch it, the other big announcement was EFL announcing its partnership with Sky and they're picking up a thousand games. Blessing and the curse internationally, as it looks like to me. Um, <laughs> let's add another zero. I agree. Let's get there. Thanks, to Tobias. Um, so they're going to be covering more games domestically on Sky Sports. I assume that that means that I follow, remember, around until the end of the 2027 season um, <clears throat> that there's going to be some games available on iFollow, but also some games that you're, we're going to have to watch on DAZN, more games covered internationally. We'll see how that all works out, practically speaking, next season. But it, I'm hoping it doesn't mean two subscriptions. That would just be unfortunate. Thank you, Deandra. 1600 hopefully it continues. Atlanta, Georgia's, and originally from Guyana, if it's a cheeky way to get it on the map. Marty, I'd love to. I've said the whole time I want it when people are are there and on location. So if you go back to Guyana, by all means, put it all out there. Yeah, that's the kicker, right? Um, and so is the zone. But, I mean, I, for Canadians and and for most Americans, they have ESPN Plus. In Canada, it's the zone. In Australia, it's Paramount um, or Bind. We had to have... In Canada, I had to have multiples anyway. I had to have Sportsnet to pick up the FA Cup. I had to have DAZN to pick up the EFL Cup. And uh, and I follow as they they make their way out here, Forest Green, and their Sea Shepherd, black and blues, we're in our reds. Let's go. I just want to get three points. Even if we don't clinch today, if we get three points, it's over. Because there's just no way to get running through things. Is that true? <laughs> I'm shooting for, and my big goal is I want to catch Chester. Um, I'm basically double their new subscribers at the moment. Uh, and so still looking like it's 18 months away. But I would love, love, love for a, a Canadian YouTuber fan to have more subscribers than our rival club. Like, let's go and get it. Yeah, it's all going to play out and we'll see how it goes as they're shaking hands in, in Milton Keynes before they get started. We're just making our way out for ours. The subscriptions I've are running. Thanks, Andy. I'm trying. No training. Just a guy who listens to a whole lot of ice hockey growing up and is used to broadcasting that's a little bit more um, active. I, I, um
There's a question for Michael in the tech stuff. I'm have a Samsung TV and I can't get the game to play on the internet browser nor using AirPlay. Anyone else have success with this combination? I'm good on my computer. Um, I don't, I have a Samsung TV. I, I haven't casted with it. The only thing that I'd suggest is if you're, are you good on your phone? Because if you can load it onto your phone, I always find my connectivity better with my phone than with my computer. But I don't have the option through the computer. I haven't tried that as frequently. So if somebody has an option for Michael to be able to connect there, let's get it done here, lads. We're standing at the uh, midfield stripe. Mr. Sonny Gill shaking hands with uh, FGR Rex doing a spin around the corner flag. Oh, we're getting into it. Two more. Bring in all the subscribers and let's go. Let's get three points. Morning, Alex. How are you, sir? Ah. <sighs> Yeah, see, that's the thing is it's I, I, iPhone. I know with Android, it connects a lot easier because um, you can actually stream just from the actual phone. And I don't think it'll stream from iFollow. You'd have to use Google Chrome as your browser sometimes is a little bit more improved on the connectivity than otherwise. And so figure it out. Rock Chicks logging in, throwing this one, get it done. I agree. Oh, Mullen standing under the balls. No spoilers today. Let's keep that rule in hand and reminded to everybody. Um, we're we're going to have some delay here, uh, especially because my I've had a couple of wheel spins, so I expect I'm going to lag a little bit. So try and keep it under control. As we're going to work towards the tech end to start, it looks like, left to right. And the vagant, whoa, too slow, Mr. Driver. We're underway. Max Kluwerth gets the ball and first play is to thump it down the pitch. And, ooh, Barnett actually had a nice little knock. And we're going to maybe get possession here. And Evans skyballs it alive. And we're going to go on a – put it into our own half. Let's go. And they'll get – oh, giveaway. And they're going to have an early throw from uh, – in, into the corner is a little nervy on the touches. Uh, George Evans punted one into the corner. Um and as a consequence, they're going to benefit here with a throw in just perpendicular to the 18 yard box on the left hand side. They're underway 11 seconds in. We're at 39 seconds in the Mansfield MK Dons game. Into the corner, kicked out, cross coming. Oh, blocked well by Barney. And it's going to just get thumped and cleared, which is, a, I like that as a play. And Mullen taps it ahead. He's alone. Right hand side, three, four guys chasing. Ah, the ball flips away over on his right hand side. It did a little bounce and a little flick, and it ends up running away. Evans able to collect it right-hand side. Man, I am squeaky. Oh, the Wrexham lineup. You bet. Sorry, I keep doing that when I go to the opposition. I end up running. It's the same as last time. No changes to the Wrexham lineup, and why would you change a team that came out and handled Crawley the way that we did? Squeaky bum time. Please not yet. And did I add the new? I didn't. That was a mistake on my end. I did add one more um, emoji, but I didn't put it up. I made it, but I didn't add it. Too many little things going on in life. Yeah, the wind looks like it's really strong. We're going into it. Evan's going to take a long throw here. Left-hand side. Thrown in. And we're going towards, and I said the, t the cop tech end. We're going towards the tech end to start. Barnett into the box. It's up there, headed away so far, sniffing around. Barnett able to collect it again, pushes it back to Max to get a little bit of control over the midfield stripe. Let's go. Wimbledon. Oh, is he going to have room to get it back? Brett draws it back in. It goes around the back. Palmer grabs it over on the goal line, flicks it up towards Mullen, but there's five defenders there. FGR, and this is, tell me if I'm wrong, doing the park the bus early interesting and fascinating to me maybe just holding on and tying a, a knot in the rope and trying to hang in because they've got everybody back to start as we're going to get a corner here lots of energy brazil oh that wasn't a corner it's going for a goal kick what do i know about life bring it bring on all of the barrage Brought down left-hand side of the pitch. Forrest Green able to control it, but Evans knocks it free. It goes beyond Max, who gets into the corner to collect it, and all he can do is stuck in the corner is thump it up, and he gets it up to Cannon. Uh, 
I thought that came off a of cannon's head, but we're going to get a throw in anyways. Deandra, Rexima. Well, only a winning streak of one, right? We lost two games ago that he started three games ago. But yeah, I had that wrong. They're shooting on the tech end. I said early on, I think that they were going towards the cop. Into the wind, as it looks like to me and appears. No, you're right, Michael. Three three games ago now, or whatever it was, and that's and then Fletcher came in for the one start immediately after Palmer over Crawley, and now you you keep the lineup. Is O'Connor has it left hand side midfield strike. McLean has it. Not a lot of pace so far in this one, but just control early on, which I'm okay. Give the lads some touches. Lee with it left hand side getting to McLean. McLean, left-hand side, lots of numbers back for FGR. One, two, three, four, five, six lined up. Lee gets it to Mullen. He gets grabbed around the chest. Nothing given. It loses the ball, and it's given away. Mullen nicks it back. Gets it back to McLean, left-hand side, looking for a cross, but Mullen cycles. He's going to try to get himself into a threatening position, and McLean takes it, and then right-footed cross, it's blocked. one nothing. Up against Walsall. Let's go. Now that's fascinating. That's the game I'm also wanting, wishing I could watch. Is can Donnie pull this one back from the depths and make the playoffs? Palmer undefeated. What is it like eight or nine or something silly like that? I don't know. I don't know. It's they sound quiet. To be fair, I think everybody's a little nervous, a little edgy. It's a big day. It's a big, big moment. On. Just possession, 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 possession here. Sharky's fired up the luck he had already. Let's hope it brings the luck. Whoa, lost the ball, and here they come left hand side. Clueworth. <laughs> That's so you want a definition of how to do a slide tackle coming back in defense. Max Clueworth putting on a show gets to the midfield stripe and just it's the Billy Waters impact on Donnie. Yeah. No, I don't think it's him. Uh, that new guy, player of the month for February, um, Adelican doing his thing. But my word, and really they've got three new guys that came in all on loan. We're going to get a, going to get a foul, push in the back, holding the back of his head, Mullen. I, did he hit the hoarding? Did he get, I, I didn't see if he got trampled on over there. Um, yeah, Mendy's out for the season. He's on crutches. So um, I agree. I'd like to find him in the lineup somewhere, but. It's not going to happen this year, anyways. That it was gorgeous, right? That's textbook. Continuing possession for us, kicking around the back, and ooh, a little bit nervy there. Toc had to flick it over to Ogonko to get him clear. Right now, eighty-three percent to seventeen percent possession. But nothing really coming forward. It's just all sort of 25-yard box and in just because they've got so many people parked in the bloody box. McLean gets it. Palmer oh, flicks on to Lee, loses it, and the uh, FGR's got it, and they're going to push forward. The MK Don's uh, Mansfield game, just as a... Every time I look over there, it's MK Dons with possession in the backfield searching. Um, I haven't really seen Mansfield doing anything anytime I look over there. As Stockport goes up 1-0, looking to secure their place at the top of the table um, permanently. Giveaway, Wrexham, ah, not able to turn it into anything. Kicked down and flicked down. Oh, McLean got over there and almost had a chase. And 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 the clearance ends up on our boat, boot. We, we're, we're turning... Oh, that's one of the more embarrassing flops of the year. Palmer doing everything he can. He's like literally dancing around the guy and doesn't even touch him. Yeah, that's had to go up as a flop. <clears throat> I'm a little bit scared. I bought Stoke because I was in Costco and my wife likes her cold coffee in the i'm not gonna lie she has no allegiances to stoke she doesn't know what it is i brought it to put the bottle up and be like oh yeah i found some stoke in in costco and she loves the stuff so i guess i'm going back all the damn time to costco to buy more cold brew coffee free kick for um 
was taken there by Forrest Green, FGR, and we're able to nick possession and turn this the other way and around, and Mullen's got it now. He's holding up. That's... Asking for a professional foul on the yellow card, uh, to be fair, I think Mullen went down a little easy there. I mean, I'm okay with the foul. I don't think it was a yellow card. Um, I'd like to see Mullen standing on his feet a little bit more because when you keep... I mean, I can't give him a flop. It got a, it got a foul. Yeah, I'll give it to him. I mean, I, I love you, Mullen, but I think when you flop as frequently as you do, you lose the opportunity to get calls when there really is a foul. As the cross goes into the area, but uh, way too far, but Lee's able to go out to the other side and collect it on the left-hand side. Draws it back, looking for support, gets it to Evans. Evans switches on, getting it back over to the right-hand side. Clueworth picks it up. Sandy, how are you? Uh-oh, ice cap with the Stoke co coffee is amazing. I can't even... Here we come again. Lee over left-hand side. McLean has it. The cross is up. Again, too far. Too much muscle, but bad header. And is it going to go for a corner? Ah, it's going to go for a throw in, deep in the corner. Oh, it's a corner. He flagged for a throw, so Barney went and took it. And the referee says, no, no, sorry, I got it wrong. Here's a corner. Let's score on this one and blow up the world. Because everybody will be like, there's those cheating Rexamites again. Brown paper bags and paying referees. There's the crowd. There's the crowd. I think the gains are lower because I think the volume's there. Interesting, Mike. You've seen a change in things. Uh, I don't know if I necessarily have or noticed, but but I'm with you, Sharky. We've been lots of possession stiffing around, and here's to TOC with a left-footed in swinger. Boom. Oh, it's there! Oh, Palmer got up and and got his head on it and just went over to the left-hand side of the post. I love the delivery and love the service. And it was just right in that danger area, too far out for the keeper to go and get it right there. And just, ah, not enough on it. Not enough on it. I'm there helping now. Get across. Rob, thanks for joining crowd back into it i think everybody's a little nervy as i look down at the mk don mansfield game and it's mk dons with possession continuing um just all sniffing around um they've got no fans 250 i heard but yes we are sniffing around we are getting close oh no we'll take it and we all have our opinions anyway right so it's certainly valid. It's a nice little play by Cannon over to Palmer, and he played forward thinking somebody was there and turned back to the referee and said, well, what's going on? But no call. And I think the gains are low. Anyway, FGR with it through midfield stripe. Turn her over, but we're not able to turn anything into it. Oh, Mullen's still there, kicked up in the air and cleared over to the midfield stripe and McLean. Ah, first touch, let him down a little bit and it's going to go out. Actually, yes. Is that sadistic? I, I mean, I don't have a... It, it's like when there's a when you're a fan and, and you, the opposing team comes and they win the trophy, do you end up leaving? I don't. How often do you get to see a trophy given away, right? Um. Barney with it, moves it forward. Giveaway, though, and here comes FGR the other way. Controlled. Dabo gets it left-hand side. Who My top three Wrexham players? I mean, that's going to be... Oh. This season, based on skill or who I like individually, that also changes things. Um, I'm going to go with my top three as far as this season goes, and wh how I think we who we I think we need next year: Max Kluwerth, Arthur Ogonquo, and uh, Mullen. Oh, I'm way behind. I'm, I didn't even see the goal, so now I'm going to end up watching this one here. How far behind is is the MK Dons? Oh, it's a bad giveaway in the back. 
Mansfield gives it over to the left hand, right hand side, and they go running back three and just plots it. Horrible giveaway by Mansfield in the center of the pitch. MK Dons, the one player, grabs it, runs it down, dekes out the player that gets, that gave the ball away, and then just gorgeous little shot over on the top left. So, oh no, keep because it, it, that flags it for me because I'm I, I would miss it otherwise. Clueworth. I would freaking stand him. He he's gonna cost a million quid if somebody wants to grab him. Um he's uh the straw that stirs the drink. He's the it's what 21, 22? 21, just turned 21. The kid's something else. He's uh I don't uh, there's a lot of talk that he won't be with us next year uh and could end up signing a massive transfer to go up. Yeah, I can I can agree with that as a conclusion for sure. But Max's improvements, his ability to uh, just his, his intuition too, not just tactically and positionally, but his intuition, he's a different, different player. So I got to upgrade. Turnover interception Lee coming the other way, left-hand side Palmer, 18 yard box, lots of numbers back. He swings it all the far and it gets blocked and it's going to go forward and it's a, Evans goes up and gra grabs it, gets it over to Barney in front of a charging FGR player. Barney spins right hand side, crossed over to Mullen. It's going to get here to headed away. This is part of parking the bus, right? Really, I didn't like Tozer in defense, but. Did MK, I don't know whether Kazuma's just announcing the first one or announcing the second one, but we'll figure all that out in time. They, they're quite a bit behind from where I am. And back into this one, click forward right-hand side. Just There seems to be, I don't know if it's just the color of the jerseys being black and blue, but they seem to be everywhere. Barnett cross in one, two, three, four, five guys right in the center of the box. And so it's going to go for a corner where set pieces are going to be important in a match like this because we've got one shot so far. That's not helping. MK Dons is not helping. Oh, dangerous one flat through, and it's there. Mullen hammers it. Block down on the line. It's still free. Scram ball scores. Yeah. <laughs> Scramble ball. What a messy little battle that one was. Flat ball like a dart right across the front of the line. It goes screaming in front of everybody. Mullen grabs it, hammers it back in, and it's sitting there. The ball is sitting there, bouncing around, pinning ball, defender us, defender us. And Elliot Lee goes screaming in and pots out one. Let's. Go. So just a mass scramble, like Elliot Lee over on the left left post, but I actually think that, so Mullen hammers it in there, and I think Palmer got a touch on it, and it, and it was a, a save by the keeper. Comes back right into the middle of the pitch, bounces around again, scrapes out to the left-hand side, and we're there. Bammo. We're up! Yeah! Reese with the celebratory donation. I appreciate that. Oh, I appreciate all this. It's red in the chat. Everybody's excited. Up the town. Oh, beauty. Changes the dynamic now because now FGR are desperate. They're going to have to go forward even though it's early. And I think that they were looking for, we'll just get our chances. We'll play the patient game, the waiting game, sit in the back and figure it out. And now they're going to have to come forward and that back line is going to have to open up. 70% possession, two shots now, one goal, 82 passes, 77%. We are rolling. Drew Hunt, welcome to the party. The dragon is going and oh man. Oh, I didn't upgrade. I didn't upgrade. Add goal and a shot. There we go. We're good. We're good. I'm hoping that that's the case. Let's 
score. I don't know. Is it the guy from TSN? Because that's probably who it is uh, that does the World Juniors unintentionally. Scores. Where can we watch? I follow is the only way to go if if you're looking to watch the game uh, internationally, and it's ten quid. Uh, there's no monthly one anymore, so you got to go pay the ten quid, and it's down below. Ah. <sighs> No, it's not free. It's 10 quid. I, I don't put the streams out there because I'm hoping that the club is able to benefit from these sorts of things. Um, if you're a Wrexham fan, you're giving 80% of what you're giving to is going into the club, which means that they get better. So that's why I, I don't promote the stream because it hurts the club. Something's heated in the MK Dons game as they're yelling at a Mansfield player of the side. So you'd expect that as Mansfield's moving forward and has had a lot more control in the last three minutes there. Newport up 1-0 on Tranmere. We are, right? And I don't want to jinx it. Do I even say it? Do, I did the jinx last in the last one when I played an Ogonko video and I'm now really afraid of the jinx. I'm just going to say it. We haven't lost when we've scored first we've, we've drawn but we haven't oh man that was gorgeous palmer to evans and then tried to get it out over to barney on the right hand side but it goes a little bit too far and they just end up clicking it out and remember we're going into the wind here too so this is a beautiful thing fgr is going to want to get their ponies going to be able to get there lee was feeling it we were due for a lee goal it's been a while he's been i wouldn't say struggling um but gassed gassed would be the word that i would use and sometimes when you're gas, you just need one of those ugly ones where you're cleaning up around the box, a garbage goal. And you put it up, and man, Donnie is doing their thing. <sighs> McLean with it, left-hand side. 25, 30 yards out, going to draw it back instead. Clueworth with it. Or sorry, not Clueworth, TOC. Over... Over to O'Connell, moving it forward across the midfield stripe. Slides it over to Tom O'Connor. Tom O'Connor, left-hand side. Lots of work down the left-hand side here so far, and Lee goes and collects it. FJR are back. We're looking for a way to crack as the, the Rovers with their shape. That's a nice little pass. Gets it up to Lee, edge of the area. Flicks it back to Mullen, over out. 25, boots on it. Misses by two feet on the floor. Well done. Take it. Let's go. Just missed. Off the schneid. I'm assuming that's going to be a, U, uh, a U.S. North American term, off the schneid. When you're having a bad run of form, when you find a way to fix it, break out, it's going to be a goal kick here. Absolutely. I keep saying it. They don't They don't ask you how many. Or they don't ask you how. They only ask you how many. See, blah, 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 blah. Right? I'm licking my chops. Rotherham's coming down. Sheffield Wednesday potentially coming down. Huddersfield's at the jeopardy of coming down. All Yorkshire teams, two of them South Yorkshire. You've got Donny potentially able to stay up. It could be just a Yo South Yorkshire festival. That makes it way easier for me to get to games. Uh, and so I'm hoping. Ooh, interesting. TOC got over. It's kind of in a dangerous area on the right-hand side. And he was going to get a free kick out of it. But he, I thought he was just going to go for a clear out. And instead he... Uh, he went up the pitch and then got fouled. I thought a little bit nervy on that one, to be fair. The slump buster. Yep, that's it. Off the schneid. <laughs> 21 minutes. MK Don's kicking around in the back of the midfield in their game. Evans moves it forward. Lee with the ball. Left-hand side, 30 yards out. Everybody moving backwards. They're letting Lee run with it. And so he gives it to McLean. Here comes across far post. It's there. Header. Scores. That's a beauty. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. You can see that one coming. Fire it up. We're up to nothing. That was, oh man, that was beautiful. So, you saw they just let Lee run at him, run at him, run at him, run at him. And he took it all the way, gets it over to McLean, and he takes it over down to the goal line and just flicks it up in the air. A beautiful little arc and no defenders over there on the other side. For who? Guess who? Paul Mullen. Let's go! One of those ones where everybody's spectating the ball going over. Just, I mean, this is this is gorgeous. 
I mean, not as gorgeous as the last two games, but gorgeous. Lee just runs all the way up, flicks it over, left-hand side. McLean gets it. One touch, scoops it far post. Mullen's there all by himself. And all you see is everybody looking over. Whoa, we've got, and I didn't see who gave those gifts away. Thank you, um, Chris. Thank you, Chris, for being here again. Two nothing. We're rolling through. People are grabbing subscriptions and we're having a good time. And man, that one on the replay is going to be something to watch for sure. 68% possession, four shots total. And so far, not a single shot, knock on wood, for Forest Green Rovers. Is it, we're looking good. And does this mean I start to watch more of the MK Dons game? I don't know. Just stern and and still a buzzsaw, like just a perfect little example there that we're still into this. And what we're looking to do is, is that they're trying to break out from deep in their own area and Lee's up there knocking it out of bounds. Oh, I I missed if there were spoilers on that one, but I will remind need a new poll now. Yeah, no kidding. I'll get that one fired up here in a second. So, yes, if you haven't been here before, I'm watching at 2429. And so if you end up ahead of me wherever you're watching, Barrow red card, oh, oh, we'll take that. Um, <clears throat> so if you're watching ahead of me, all that we ask is if you see a goal, if you see a red card, if you see an action before it, everybody else does based on what's here, don't spoil it and don't throw it out into the chat. Keep it, type it all out, get really excited. <laughs> I'll take that. Oh, Goofy, you keep getting your stuff. And I don't think that that was a bad one. Oh, it's all caps. Um, if you put all caps on, be careful because the, the the bot will grab you and punch you out. Well, not punch you out, but block it. <laughs> oh, forgot there was a game. How do you forget, man? Man, MK Dons has given Mansfield everything they could handle. The way that this game is looking and feeling, they just... Every time I look over, they've got the ball or Mansfield scrambling around trying to chase things down. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and the window closes. The more points we add, the more the, the, you tighten the screws. It may not be today. It may be on Tuesday. Well, actually, it won't be because if Barrow's out, then that game doesn't mean anything on Tuesday. But they do. MK's uh, watching this game. MK's looking like they're really uh, they're really on today. Foul, free kick, midfield, 35, 40 yards out. Evans still down. That's a yellow. Osadebe gets a yellow card. Oh, did I? I'll scroll up. Thank you for that. I don't want to miss out on Super Chats when people do their thing. Alan asks, will you be watching? Welcome to Wrexham. Absolutely. And I'm trying to get a friend of mine who, I, I, she loves sports um, and she hasn't seen Welcome to Wrexham yet. Um, largely new family and just busy with life and all that sort of stuff. I'm trying to draw her in. I want her to show the whole journey from somebody from, from their perspective so we can have a little flashbacks of, oh yeah, that was me. And so I'm trying to get her into it as well. So I will definitely be watching starting in May. As we've got it, 18 yard box eight, over on the right hand side. Barnett, Cannon, dancing over on the right hand side. It's on Barnett's foot now, and he's going to draw it back. And maybe we look for a switch. Haven't hit 500. Most concurrent viewers at any one time was 477. That's the not that was Knotts County. Oh, beautiful Lee over to Palmer gets it back, draws it over to Kynes to get it back to Palmer, and it just rolls. We are greedy. We are greedy. Just looking for more. Whew. And I'm going to need to get a new poll question. I don't know what that poll question is going to be, and I think I punted. Uh, come on. I'm going to shut this poll down. Why won't you let me shut the poll down? End poll. There we go. Barnett just with it. Oh, he kept it in, but he kept it in and they wouldn't nick the free ball that was there as he stood on the ball to, and tried to slow down to come back and get it. Well done for FGR being attentive there. And MK Dons screaming in on the left-hand side. It's just all MK Dons in that match. 
and Mansfield, all they can do there is just bash it down, and then they bash it down and foul. It's. I'm hoping that Mansfield, they've been looking like garbage now for a while, uh, that if they do end up losing, that that just continues. Because we may need them to drop more points to clinch, or we just keep winning, or we just keep winning. Guess the score for the poll. All right, let's throw that one in there. Lee with it, gets it over, first time touch across the cannon, midfield stripe, and he's moving forward on the right-hand side. Everybody's chasing that, that flicked off. Weird, that's the second time today, the same sort of thing with Mullen, where the, like the turf monster runs out and just knocks the ball away. Um, it's running weird on the pitch. Or um, Anyway, then, uh, interesting. I'll get back to you, Santiago, on that one. I just want to know how many goals do we score today? We're done. One more. Two more. Three plus more. Or should I just say three, four, five? I'll just change the actual number. Three, four, five or more. Start the poll, fire it up, and away we go. <sighs> 500 on the stream. Holy cow. Everybody's here and we're having a good time and it's been entertaining. I've got the MK Dons game going up, which has been just domination, pure domination by MK Dons over Mansfield at the moment. Um, and on this one, we're up to nothing. Domination, pure domination. Just hoping that Gillingham's able to beat up Barrows. Long ball goes down, searching for Cannon over the right-hand side and all that FGR can do is punt it out. And so we're going to get a throw in uh, on the right-hand side. We'll see if George Evan goes up and throws that one in there. Chris, thank you so much for the gift, man, uh, to everybody and those that are benefiting from things. If you haven't turned on your gift memberships, the three buttons up at the top of the chat, click that, hit memberships, flick the little toggle, turn it on. I'll play the video during the half as to how I'll go about doing that. And George Evans is going to throw this one in 10 yards away from the line, and he was going to go to Cannon short, but FGR picked that up. And here comes the long ball throw. <laughs> Near post. Headed away, back to Evans over there, and there's nobody over. Can he get a cross in? Here comes a cross, served up, blocked, and oh, that's going to go for a corner. Oh. Double ricochet, must have. Double hit. Did we just get a goal? We did. Mansfield draws in, 1-1. One, one. Going to have to wait for the replay because I just saw the flash of the graphic and turned over to the other side. So it is 1-1. One, one. Mansfield trying to help us out, get us to League One. Woo, that's good news. Good news everywhere. I am still waiting on the replay, and I haven't seen what happened. Mansfield scored, Mansfield scored, Mansfield scored. Yes, Goofy Splat noticed it. WG probably noticed it, and I was too busy watching this one. And so we have drawn that one up, which is great for us. Get in. Get in. And I missed the replay, so I'm not going to see what happens. I just caught the tail end of the celebration. And right now, as the games stand, we would be in League One if the, everything... Mansfield had zero shots before that goal. Confident at five goals, Alan. 1-1 one, one, Mansfield. Stop the count. Yep. Stop the count. It's over. Let's go home. Just end it here. Yellow card to Mansfield. Uh, and here we are. McLean, left-hand side, dancing. 18-yard box. Goes for the cross block. It's going to go for a corner over to the left-hand side. We're still spinning. Referees having a chat. It's emotional over in the, the MK Dons Mansfield game. They are hungry. I, I haven't, Vince, I haven't got to my coffee yet. Can I wait till I get to the beer? And I got to go running around all over the place. 500 watch and throttling the record. Hello to everybody and thank you. Like button's down below. Hit the smash button. Left footed out swinger from O'Connor looking for it. No, he's going to pull it. And it gets it out to Evans. It misses Cannon on the play. Cannons was looking forward to take a shot on the 35-yard. Instead, um, it goes out to Evans, who's played it in. O'Connor to Cannon. Cannon. Right. It's there. O'Connor. It's bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> Pinball wizard. Pinball wizard. And Max Kluwerth. 
I don't have a song for Kluwer, so we'll make one up. Three, nil, run it. That was fortunate as all hell. I don't even know how they give credit to it. So they drop it all back, and the first a shot goes in, and it literally is blocked. It hits about, like, five bodies. And you can see it going, ting, 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 pinball wizards, count it. Three, nil. I've got to find out who this all hits, and then we'll put the scoreboard up. So Cannon gets it out and out for the cross. EOC puts it forward, and, oh, my word. So off of 46, off of Palmer, and maybe off of one more defender before it hits Clueworth, it's at least four deflections. And what might be an own goal, too, off the last defender. It could be Max. I don't even know. Oh, man. 3-0 up to the scoreboard. So much going on. I'm trying to follow it all. I'm having a blast doing it. This is quite the day. Does that even count as a shot on goal if it was an own goal? I don't think it does. <laughs> oh, man. Stop the count. Stop the count. Allen. Yeah, I think it might have been an own goal there. The the atmosphere's rolling. Everybody's, it's party time. It's party time. And now everybody's in in Wrexham's fighting the, the, fighting the bad Wi-Fi to try and find a way to find out what's going on around the league. Saying it's Cleworth's goal. I didn't have one. I said, I don't have a song for Cleworth, so I'll make one up. I, I, I don't have a Max song. Oh, man. 1-1 one, one in Milton Keynes. Still nil-nil in Jillian Barrow, right? No updates on that one. Oh. Google called it an own goal. Interesting. Well, we'll follow along and see what happens. Mike, it's okay to be wrong. It's okay to be wrong <laughs> when you say it's three goals. Oh, Lee with a nice little dance around a player on the left-hand side and shoulder charge. No, that's not a foul. That's a fair play shoulder charge. They were level on the ball. and Maybe that's hockey, though. Maybe I'm okay with um, Lee with it. 18-yard box. He's right outside. Hammers it. It gets blocked. We are just relentless. Relentless. Are we trying to catch Mansfield on goal difference today? Like, what are we? Oh, boy. I got to bump up a little, sh the shots a little bit up to six. A draw in the MK Dons game is the best result. If we lost, it actually changes then, and you actually want to have an MK Don um win i believe it was i'd have to go back and have a look at it but i remember that being surprised is is if we ended up losing that it would have been something different but don't have to worry about that grab the game by the throat and man we've come out just on fire this is what we've sort of been it's interesting this is what we've thought the last couple of games that we were all season long this good and just weren't there and that's why there was so much frustration now you see the magic and it gets crawling yes fgr a weaker team in the table but we've been flying. I just saw a graphic come up, and so I'm looking for this. Yeah, oh, just missed. Uh, MK Don's just missed uh, relatively close, I guess, on a right-footed shot from the uh, just outside the 18-yard box. Chris, you absolute beauty, and uh, well, I love you, man. <laughs> Your assistance and helping everything out here, uh, we're going to have to find a way to Keep you involved. A deflection. They're yelling handball. It rolled over to the right-hand side. Mullen sniffing around. So much going on. Whew. So this was... They're still they're still parking the bus. And Lee gets it here. Draws it up to Mullen. He moves it forward. Tries to find McLean screaming through. It gets deflected. Almost lands on the foot of Palmer, who's standing right on the penalty dot, ready to hammer the ball in. So just... Like if you're FGR, it's you're still your season. You're down three nil. I get it, and you don't. Oh, Ogonko goes and collects it, leaves the ball behind. <laughs> that was well done. The best, the most action that he's had there. Sandy, everybody's getting memberships today. Bless you, Sandy.
Yeah, Chris, Sandy, the members, like, I want everybody in. Oh. See, this is where I disagree with Mark. And interesting, because he, the one he thought the shoulder charge should have been a foul, this one on Palmer, he said that was a nice challenge, but I looked like it got him up in the thigh. So I'm like, how could that be a nice chat? Nice. A nice challenge. Oh, Mansfield. Oh, just they're in there in front of the area, 18 yard box. Here's the shot looking. Oh, dance fell. He just slipped and fell and he might be injured. That was awkward. His right leg just looked like it gave out on him. And I wouldn't be surprised if he's like, and that's a foul and that's got to be a card. Yeah. Okay. We're back into our game now. Sorry. I got distracted because th that sh probably should have been a goal um for mansfield first time sniffing around and he had a wide open opportunity and he stuffed it so clue with it right hand side lob shot good ball and ooh, just a desperate save by the defender to knock that one free otherwise that would have landed right on our feet i think that was mullen on that side danger still dangerous denise just make sure you've turned on the membership to, to, so that you can be gifted as well otherwise you'll never get one up on the top of the chat there's three dots if you click those three dots, it'll open up and say, well, and I don't even have it to be able to sh tell you. It'll have, oh, it's not there. Click the gift bu bu bucket, H hit, hit, hit the gifts, and then just hit allow gifts. Where Sandy or Chris up at the top of the chat, it has those two little green things that say 10. Click that and hit accept gifts. And then if you get one, you'll get that in there. Yeah, and I think that's probably what we're looking for now. As much as this one's exciting, I'm going to probably go 50-50 unless anybody objects trying to get the Mansfield one because now that's the game that matters. We've taken care of business our, on our end. I mean, the barrel one, yes, also matters. Um, and I don't know if anybody has their eyes on that one. Um, oh, nice little play up to Mullen on the right-hand side. Mullen, Palmer moving up, 35. They got two people back. The defender's still screaming. Mullen, 18-yard box, and there it is. Oh, misses over to the left-hand side. Goes behind. Whew. That not that the way? Need to travel to Wales. We all need to go to Wales. And who would have thought that would have been the message that came out prior to this whole endeavor? And that's the magic of Rob and Ryan and Wrexham and the whole thing that's going on. It was an Innes own goal, by the way. All right. All right. And I've got to go to... They've just flashed our score up on the MK Don's Mansfield game. Three nothing, we're up. <laughs> Barnett with the right hand side. I can't see there being much for an, in the way of added time. Two minutes because of the goals. Could you imagine? <laughs> What, what happens if we took away the away end? I mean, technically we're away. Oh man, I've slowed down my computer so much with all the stuff going on. Uh, let me get out of this. Crew Grimsby. Oh, yep. Sorry. Mansfield heading out of the way of him and MK Don's player into the bas belly basket of Pim. He's going to have to have a game. The way that MK Don's is playing here, it's it's they've they're swarming. So the little man for Mansfield is going to have to stop a lot of ball. <coughs> Barnett, right hand side, what well, danced around two people towards the middle of the pitch, gets it to Mullen, eighteen yard box, tries to spin, can't, gave it away. Oof, oof. Beautiful stuff. MK Dons gets a throw in on their side of the half after Mansfield finally gets a foray into their half. Grimsby up one nothing. Barrow are down to 10 men, hoping for a draw there. Bobby, how are you? Thank you for signing up and joining the, the mob. And Ghoulish. These, you guys are having a day. I'm having a day. We're all having a day. Up 3 nothing, and if we can stop everything right now, we're moving up to League 1. 
We're moving up to League One. Nice ball up to Lee. Lots of space. 18-yard box. Still looking. Shots. So that's got to be in. That's got to be in. You've got to give that. Did that, did that. did that get kept out? I have no idea how he even got that potentially past him, but he's got this. Lee, left-hand side, no room. He's got Palmer in front of him. Right footer. Blocked, flicked, blocked, flicked. And stepped. No, nah, didn't go in. Ooh, he just saved it. So we're going to get a corner out of that one for, over from the left-hand side. Whew. How's everybody's heart doing? Yeah, I'm just excited. It's not that I'm nervous. I'm just excited. Crawley Town equalizing 1-1. One, one. League 1. Hey, is that Nepal? Four. Four in the first half. Whoo! Paul Mullen all by himself. Corner. Loops it over. Far side. Mullen collects it over on the far post. Collects. Gathers. Right foot. Boop. Top left corner. Four. Fire it up. Yeah, far post. Flicked up in the air. Paul Mullen's right there. Oh, and he didn't settle it down. And it might have had a touch. Left left footer, hammer shot. Ends up maybe taking a deflection. Four. Headed up in the air. Mullen, volley, bang. And it might have hit Palmer on the feet on the way past. It don't matter. Count them up. Count them up. How are you feeling? I'm feeling out freaking standing. Legendary game 4-0. All of the magic in this one now at the half is going to be on the MK Dons Mansfield game, which I'm glad I ended up picking up. As Oh, here comes the first foray. They might get a shot. That would be disappointing. Nope, it's knocked out. It's going to go for a goal kick. O'Connell got the block. It didn't go through. Doidge able to miss it, and we're able to collect it. And Chris with the more – Chris, <laughs> they're going to break you at the rate that they're going. If they're if you're giving away memberships every time we score, it's going to be <laughs> – uh, do I have to triple triple or double my pole? <laughs> like, what the hell? Offense is on, Chris. You, Chris, add me on Twitter or what, or send me an email or Instagram or something, man. Need to connect with you and say thanks and come up with a way to incorporate you. I mean, you're enjoying it, so I, 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 I'm all for helping you out. Absolute legend is bloody right. MK Dons with it, left side, 18-yard box, draws it out, and I don't have their roster up, so I can't tell you who it is. And then giveaway, Mansfield has it, fortunate there, and good. Relieve the pressure. They've got two minutes of out of time there. We've got three minutes here, so we'll be over pretty much at about the same time. <sighs> the Chris chat. I wonder if I can do that. Name it Name it for Chris. Like naming stands? That sounds like a novel idea. I can, I can probably design something up. <laughs> yeah overrated he's on pace he has a chance to take over the scoring lead oh have a good one sandy we'll catch you later if we also need barrow to drop points um and so right now if the game was to end oh MK with the cross into the box, well headed out, but they're going to get a corner here right to end of the second half. And oh, we've got an opportunity. Barnett flips it up. Everybody's trying to get one here. Can we get Marriott out for this one? Give 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 Mullen a chance to get his hat trick. Kim, how you doing? <laughs> Halftime subs. Absolutely. Uh, it could be today. We're waiting and looking at the out-of-town scoreboard. MK Dons. We need draws. MK Dons, far side. We're really watching these two games in the middle here. If they end up in draws or um, MK Dons and Barrel lose, we get promoted. <laughs> Try to explain exactly how that's going. Barrel's down a man, red card. Is there at the half in, in, in Milton Keynes? So we'll wrap this up as we've got 15 minutes here. 15 minutes, 15 seconds. 
581 watching. Welcome to the party. Smash that like button. Subscribe. Subscribe. We're having a good time and oof. Tumbled over, ran into, no yellow card, and that'll be fine. Stockport, 2-0 up on Morecambe. Not going to be able to catch Stockport. They're just running out of real estate there. They're going to get the trophy when they come to our barn, but who cares? Who cares? Welcome to the Zach for sure. 606 throttling records it's in they've got an opportunity for that shot are they going to get it nope it's going to go well wide right had that free kick moved it over to the far post no magic Whew. and there's the halftime whistle four nil four nil at the half lay in the boots to the forest green rovers that's what you get for mocking the team in on your twitter account and I agree. Promotion, more important than a trophy. Um, no, because there won't be anything to play for, I don't think, by the time that we get there. I mean, the way that Stockport is going, um, I'll just bring this up really quick just so that we can see. This is not live, but this is before the start of the match. Stockport's sitting at 83 points with a game in hand. Um, they're winning today, so you know we would bump up to 82. They're going to be at 85. We're just running out of real estate. We would have to win the remain the last two, well, crew for sure, to go into the last game. And we would need Stockport to lose its next two to drop enough points, I think. It's it's just, we got promotion. Uh, since 2002, there are well, uh, seven teams that have, have done the uh, the promotion from league, from the, from, the, from the National League to League Two into League One. Um, only seven teams have done it, and we're going to join that mob. So not entirely rare. It's about 33% chance. And so we're we're going to be a part of that group. Interestingly enough, only from National League all the way up into uh, the championship, only three teams have done it. Um, Exeter City, Doncaster Rovers, and uh, Luton Town, who obviously made it all the way up. But man, what a half. Look, it things are looking good. If, if oh, i got to stop my clock. Things are looking perfect. I, I mean, sure, I'd take... I'd take uh, MK Dons being behind and I'd take Barrow being behind, but draws get it done today and, uh, and get us up. And there will be a party. I wonder what the after 90 minutes will be. Are they going to, are we going to see Baz and, and, and Matt and them if the, if the after 90 minutes, probably just for a quick little login to do is do a high. It could be me by myself running the after 90 minutes, maybe with Josh, uh, and Sheldon, because I can anticipate that the, the people of Wrexham are going to be out celebrating into the night. Chris, you absolute legend. I think every subscriber is going to end up <laughs> with a membership. And wow, this is going today. Uh, it's absolutely bonkers in the stream. Elsewise, hit the subscribe button. Come and join. Hit the like button. And oh, I, if you haven't didn't know how to pick up these memberships that are going around, I'm going to play that video and take a moment to breathe. And I will be right back for those of you who want to help out looking at trying to add some things so we brought in those memberships and what do you get out of the deal well you get these fancy badges look at them hatchling for when you first start all the way up to like four years down the road sit next to your name it's actually kind of cool you get something out of it custom emojis that you can use in the chat the bog always the favorite Highlighted embedded chat messages in green, appreciation graphics, upcoming members only videos. I promise to have them to tell, figure out what we're going to do into the future. How do you join? Well, there's a little money symbol down on the bottom. You can end up clicking there. And if you want to do a little bit more than that, you can give away memberships. Click the little dollar symbol in the chat or bottom of the page, and you can give the memberships away. One dollar. It doesn't renew every single month, so it's just a one-time thing. And you can give away the perks to everybody else. If you want to receive gifts, you have to opt in. And how do you do that? In the chat, you can click when presents are given away, either at the top or at the bottom where it says allow gifts. Click there, and there's a little toggle. Hit that and move it over. Or you can go to join on the bottom. Do the same thing. Three buttons, gift settings, put it forward. And those super gifts are always welcome. And I had the mute button on. Chris, thanks so much for doing that. Um, just, it, it, it's an epic day so far. Uh, halftime stats in the other, in the man's MK Dons, and then we'll come back to our own because they've got it up on there. 33, so it's, and I'm a little bit too late to the party. I'll, I'll just tell you this much. From what I've been, every time I look over, MK Dons has the ball. They're absolutely dominating over there. And so, 
Um, and yes, Ignacio, I've I've got the games that matter up at the top. The only this one, the the crew Grimsby ma- match doesn't really matter that much um, because we're drawn on points. Uh, if crew was to win out all the way through and we were to lose out all the way through, they'd still have to make up a whole pile of of uh, of goals. But and after today's performance, that's going to be near impossible. And so. I don't even know. I'm so excited. My mind is scrambled today and it doesn't even matter. Um, So I've got all the scores up there. We we are looking for this to end in a draw or for MK Dons to lose. We are looking for Barrow to end in a draw or Barrow to lose. Barrow is down to 10 men. Don't have the red card graphic. And we're working on things in the back of houses. This continues to grow and people liking what they're seeing. So we're going to just keep working on stuff and trying to improve the product. Um, I don't even know, like, which goal do we talk about from all the goals that happened? The pinball wizard one, the, the McLean's over to Mullen, the running downhill with all of the passing. I mean, it's been a gorgeous day. Here's the stats. 68% possession. Our expected goals only at 1.45. We've got nine shots to their zero. Zero shots on target for them. Zero shots at all. Zero big chances. <coughs> and only 95 passes for the entire first half. Um, it's been like, you don't dominate a game like this very often. Wait, Gabe, what? What? Let's get that one up on the scoreboard. That's great news. That's one of those two getting closer to being solidified. We just need Mansfield. Oh, you beautiful stags. You beautiful stags. Sixteen sixty. I might actually get a hundred freaking subscribers today. I'm on pace to get over a hundred subscribers today. Like that's just maddening, absolutely maddening. Time to crack a cold one and enjoy the second half. I would love to have a beer. I've got my coffee. I've got a Coke in reserve. Today is the day. It definitely could be League One. We're starting to celebrate, and then you start to get to look around. I mean. I, Sheffield Wednesday could be coming down 25, 30,000 Premier League, all that history. They could be in the same league. Alessandro, and I'm how are you? I've got to bring this up so I can start chatting to people. And Swirly, I did see that by the way. You asked, <laughs> Can Forest Green's expected goals? Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Absolutely. Down a man, down one nothing. I would hope to say that that one's taken care of. The big question mark is the MK Don Mansfield game where, I mean, the only good news is that the the Don's keeper hasn't made a save because there's been one shot on goal and they scored it. <laughs> um, oh, man. I was nervy coming into this one. There is nothing about being nervy now. We're sitting for nothing and, and, and we've got house money that we're counting. House money. Smash that like button. Absolutely. Let's do that while we're at it. Um, after 90 minutes, I'm on pace for 150 subs. I know it's absolutely bonkers, right? It's <clears throat> with it. 10 more people signing up. It's just, it's tearing off. I got 600 people over. We're having a good time chatting and I'm wondering what YouTube is thinking. Cause they're like, why is this guy? It's Chris is helping out. You guys are carrying the chat. Everybody's active. And so we're having a good time following this one. Yeah. Rotherham United is already coming down. And my wife, if you don't know from South Yorkshire, Hey, Seattle, you're close. And I know that Patrick, you've been on here before we've seen you. Um, my wife's from South Yorkshire. So for me to be able to go over, uh, you've got, um, potent- Huddersfield's kind of close, but you got Rotherham, you got Sheffield Wednesday, Doncaster could end up pushing their way back up there. Uh, that makes it very easy for me on a jumping off point. And Yarrow, also a Canadian. I'm over on the West Coast, grew up in Saskatchewan. You have to tell me where you're from. Um, and we, greetings from Chile. We can we can do that whole thing during the halftime too. Is uh, I've got the whole little map up here. 51 countries have logged in. Um, and watch the watch party. I can bring that up while we're going through. Let's let's do this one at a time. Let's bring the country ticker up. And if you're not on this list, feel free to let us know, and we'll add you to the list. 51 countries so far. We're looking for 10 states and one pro- two provinces and one territory. So feel free to figure all those out as we go through 
and just wait. Uh, I'm just waiting to. You're in Saskatchewan. I've got my Saskatchewan person. I've been so frustrated because I grew up in Saskatchewan. I've been telling my friends to join. And I guess I have no real friends in real life. Um, and nobody comes on and logs on and comes and sees. So, Yaro, you are my first Saskatchewanian. Saskatchewan. I was grew up just outside Saskatoon. So, yay. Michigan, Chile, Costa Rica. I think that's a new one. I'm going to have to write all this down. Welsh in Spain. Got that one. I'm so excited to have Saskatchewan. That made my day. Australia. I do. I can't. Do I want to pay for the barrel match? I can pay for the barrel match. But the problem is, is I don't have a, a thing to, to view it on. Let me go and talk to my wife one second. I might have to. Oh, I can put it on my phone. Holy cow, Vince. Yeah, I'm definitely. You know what? I'm going to load up the barrel game, but it's going to be on my phone. Um, or do, no, I'm going to put the Wrexham game on my phone. <laughs> do I put the Wrexham game on my phone? Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Uh, da, 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 da. It, no, but I don't want to do that. I want to be able to watch all the magic. I'm going to put the barrel game on my phone. So give me a second here while I log into iFollow. Oh, and I have to remember which account I used to log into iFollow with the biggest frustration that I have with iFollow is you need to have a separate email account for every single freaking one that you do load up. So I've watched like six. I had to make um, an iFollow account just to watch the Mansfield game. Um, but I did watch iFollow last or a couple of weeks ago. And so I'm going to sign in and hope that I've got it saved. Uh, forgot your password. I forgot which account I used. I think I used my work one. Let's try it. This could be a pain in the butt. Because if it's... No. Uh, I'm going to try... Man of the match. How do we pick a man of the match for this one? I need to... <laughs> no. What am I going to do with that? <laughs> and nobody wants to see it. <laughs> Costa Rica. Pura Vida. I love Costa Rica. I spent a lot of time down in Tamarindo. Ontario, California. The chat is on fire. I'm trying to find out if I can figure out what password I used to be able to sign in on this. And I'm hoping that I saved it with. I've got two emails there. Uh... A lot of football to be played in this in the second half. Man of the match is the race course, always live. What? Did somebody just say they were from Newfoundland? Did I miss a Newfie? And I'm going to have to go through. Originally from Lebanon. No, Pauly D. Sorry, I've, I've said. No. Western Newfoundland. Karma. I think that leaves just the Northwest Territories. I've actually found Nunavut twice. The same guy from Rankin Inlet joining twice. And I'm trying to follow along here and, and keep everything going. Well, I'm also trying to pull up the sign-in information. There it is. Okay, so I've got it there. Uh, how about I don't mumble? <laughs> I almost started to mumble my password. That would have been awesome. Password is not valid. What do you mean it's not valid? Let me uh, figure this out. Uh, sorry for this, guys. If you're just joining and you're figuring everything out, I'm trying to um, figure out what my password is here. And... Oh, wait, uh, that's why.
We're getting underway. Halftime subs in the Mansfield MK Dons game as they're getting ready. We've got us lining up to come on out. I'm trying to get the Barrow game up. It looks like it's logging in. C passes, live passes, buy match pass for the Gillingham game. Okay. Existing payment method works for me. Pay for the card. Get the scroller. So we're going to have all of it. This one's going to be tough to watch. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to follow along with the chat. As we're up to 1697, I'm going to hit 1700 today. What the heck is going on? You guys are beautiful. <laughs> I just blast off another 10 subscribers. I've never had a day like this one. Um, and so having a lot of fun. Keeler Dunn. Keeler Dunn didn't get the start. I don't know what's going on in Mansfield. Keeler Dunn is the best player. He's a he's he, he was your he's an EFL player of the year nominee. And he sat off your first half in your most important game. And he came off early in the game against us. Like Nigel Clough, you're a way better manager than I am. But that's absolutely bonkers. Congratulations. I have now ordered. That's great. Now, how about you take me to the actual game? Live watch. Listener watch now. Loading up. This is fascinating. Oh. As I've now got three games going on live. Uh, and we've got a stroller, uh, the stroller, a stretcher coming out in the MK Dons game just a minute into play, into the half. Uh, and I didn't see what happened here, but this one looks serious. They've called for medical and they're going screaming out. I don't know if this is just really good acting. High ball. Pim goes out to go and get it. Oh, that was an accidental bump with Flint. And he looks like he's he's maybe torn something. Just an awkward tanglement with. From Guatemala, that's a new one. I, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to have to go through this chat afterwards and try to figure out where everybody was and wh where everybody came from. Show a picture of all the screens. I, can, I can't show the one with the laptop on, but I've got, and I can't show the stream itself, but I've got my kid's iPad rocking with the MK one. I've got my phone rocking with the barrel one. Flicked on Mullen with it. A nice little back heel to Palmer. We're, we're still coming for more. Palmer tries to find Mullen for his hat trick, but they come back and grab it. And this guy looks like he might be okay. I don't know. Left leg all twisted up. Vince, 14. I think, didn't I see that one? The yellow, the Early on, I had that one flagged. That was a yellow one that came back. I'm scrolling through. Yeah, I'll click it again. Let me buy a beer. I love beer, especially with Clamato juice. Maybe that's the next one that I, I, the red eye, the Saskatchewan red eye. Louisiana, was that on my list? I think we've had lots of people from Louisiana. Live in the Shetland Islands between Scotland and Norway. I know where that is because I actually was looking at some pictures there and thought, man, that'd be a fun place to go. <laughs> David's going to travel the world to, find, to to make sure all these countries hit the list. Clock. Clock. Sorry, so much going on. What are we at? 46 minutes. I can add a minute and add a sec, couple seconds. As we're waiting for Gillingham Barrow to still get underway. They had a lot of extra time. Uh, red card looks like injuries and all that sort of stuff. Possession, 66.3% possession for Gillingham. Four shots to five. MK Don's 48 minutes is where they're at. So we'll watch this. Let's. Hey, that sounds good. We'll travel the world and watch this. Is FJR coming forward. They're going to get their first shot here. I'm sure of it. F fit across. They're not. Maybe not. And it's cleared. No shots. No shots. You got to only places I follow. I, I I don't put the streams out and I don't promote the extra streams. I want the, the I want the club to benefit from this whole process. I have to serve as a gateway to Wrexham. So 10, 10 bucks. Uh, Utah. Let's bring. Okay, I'll bring the countries off and we'll put the states on the, the 10 states that are left. There they are. So they'll load up. MK Dons with a throw in over on the near side. Mansfield going from right from left to right. No, right to left. Dawn's from left to right in this one. Us with the wind. Scoring four against a pretty strong wind. And we're going to get a throw in on the left-hand side as I'm going to try and make sure this makes sense and you guys know exactly where we, we're, we're talking and what game we're talking about. Hey. 
MK Dons settles it down, drawing it back. And not much going to happen there. Is... Ogonquo going to push it down the middle of the pitch. Over to the right-hand side is Cannon's got it. The 18-yard box. He's going to look for the cross. Steps in behind, blocks it. 18-yard box, draws it back. Barney's there to fill it in. Flip, far post. Nobody over there. But it's knocked down. Lee's got it. Lee. Oh, he had a chance to hammer it. And the guy got out of the way. Molin. Oh, he had the hat trick on his foot. He had the hat trick on his foot. And it got blocked. I'm just a little bit slow on getting that one. As the street, as the subscribers come rolling in again. Another turnover here. McLean with it over to Mullen. Get that hat trick. Oh, no. He's going to give to McLean. No. Hammers it. And... We've got a goal. We've got a goal. Keeler done. Mansfield. 2-1 up, baby. We are looking like we're going to the league. Whoo, Keeler done. Nigel Clough didn't put him in at the start of the half. And so here it is. It's it, it's moved forward into the box and it kind of bounces around. It's up in the air. Knocked down again. Lands right on a first first save, second save, third, third opportunity, fourth opportunity. Oh, my word. Four shots it took. Keeper save, keeper save, Woodward, Keeler Dunn scores it. Most beautiful goal that Keeler Dunn has ever scored. As And you can hear the chant now going up around the stadium. That's what that is, is everybody's celebrating. This is a day. This is a day. We are going to go up through promotion today. I can feel it. No, no jinx, no jinx. Uh, I don't even know what I'm doing with the scoreboard. What am I doing with the scoreboard? What's my name and where am I? Uh, Sean, nice to meet you. Um, I, I, I do the, the watch party things. I have fun. Um, it, it's like a hobby and it's great. And you guys are awesome. That's me. There we go. Finally, I figured out what we were doing. Oh boy. Two, one 51st minute there. The Gillingham barrel game hasn't started unless I hit the pause button. I'm going to bump the live button and try and get it forward. So they haven't started their half. So we'll be watching that. We're going to have to back up the after 90 minutes because I, or we watch it. Maybe I'll have enough time with how delayed they are. Maybe I'll have time to set it all up and move over. In the Wrexham game, 50th minute, still moving forward, 67%, 11 shots on goal. FGR yet to have a shot on goal. This could have been the game where, Brendan, your dreams could have come true. You could have played for Wrexham and got a clean sheet, potentially, in, in the league as a keeper. Oh, my word. Uh, record viewers, record everything's we're having fun. It's it's I, I would love to give the play by play and let everybody know exactly what's going on, but it doesn't matter. Enjoy this day. Is there gonna be a pitch invasion? I sure as hell hope so. Do you have to wait for the Gillingham game and then you look like a fool if you don't? I don't know. Can they hang around forever? Are the Stewart's gonna kick them out? I don't know. But we're all gonna have fun and enjoy the madness and chaos and beauty that is this day. Whew, come on, keep this going. the atmosphere they're having fun listening to this talking about everything the Wrexham Wrexham's all standing all the fans are standing jumping around we're screaming in the chat this is a this is fun this is fun oh enter into the, into the box in the MK Dons match I'm gonna have to move this over here so I can actually see what's going on oh it's too far ah, I don't know what to do with my life MK Dons cross into the box Ooh, dangerous just missed on the far post Ooh, and he got a guy all tangled up in the nets in the back so not out of the question that that one could, I mean, MK Dons have, would have to draw two back to avoid um, us securing promotion here. Barnett in our game gets it over right-hand side, 18-yard box to Cannon. We're still sniffing. Cross into the box. It's knocked down by Palmer. Palmer looks to go and hammer it. All tangled up, freed up for Lee. Comes up, lo loose to Barnett. He, that's got to be a foul. That's got to be a foul. He clicked him in the ankle, and the, Sonny Gill says, no, let it play. So they're running. We're screaming back on defense. And McLean goes and tackles him, and the ref lets that one go. You know what? It's getting a little rough and a little bit chippy in ours, and that's fine. We're having some fun with it as long as nobody gets hurt. Ah, bad touch by McLean. Goes too far, but TOC is able to get it. In the Mansfield game, oh, my word. What, what, ha, I'm going to watch the Wrexham game. It's We're into the box. McLean draws it in. That's going to be cleared, and I can go the other way. MK Don screaming down. Left footer. No, blocked. Headed over. Still got it. MK Don's 18-yard box. Down to the goal line. Here comes a cross. Tackle. Beauty tackle. And that's going to go out. And is that a goal kick? I think it is. 
that was a beautiful tackle and we got an mk dons player on the ground and they actually called it a corner so mk dons corner from the right hand side in our game i'm having a fit here free kick outside the box toc got taken down mullen's gonna end up taking that one this is a two yards out from the 18 yard box on the left hand side and we're still waiting for the barrow Gillingham one and i've got a chat going on holy concurrent viewers too Concurrent viewers, too. 667, throttling everything. McLean is a beast. <laughs> He's letting them go. He's letting them go. This game is absolutely hyped. This game is hyped. The the, MK, the Don's game with Mansfield is hyped. Is Don's coming again? Ooh, nothing there. He's saying he got ball. He just tripped that guy up. I've paid for this game. Is the barrel game running? No, nothing going. The audio's there. Mullen, right footed into the wall. Just shy of getting over and had that dangerous. Yeah, off the head. And so we've got a, a full in the face. Mullen face shot. So we're going to have a, a, a head check. Indonesia. Yes, we're right now we are on pace for automatic promotion. We, we only need draws in the two games in the middle. The barrel draw, barrel draw. MK Don's draw or loss. And so right now with them both losing, we are set up for a League One promotion party and we're waiting for it. They're just getting started a whole <coughs> 10 minutes behind in the Gillingham game, uh, Gillingham Barrow. We So yeah, one more time. We need to win, which we got in control. We need a, a draw or a loss in for the MK Dons in the in the in the MK Dons Mansfield game and a draw or a loss in the Gillingham Barrow game. So as it sits out, all three of those are lined up. It's Mansfield Keeler done into the box. He still got it. It's there. Oh, roofed it just over top. As we were looking, might have blown the whistle down on a Keeler done foul, but uh, didn't go into the back of the net in any event. And so we are still there looking for 700 potential live viewers. The, the subscriber button is there. Hit the like button. Keep it going. Indonesia's there. I'm writing things down. I'm going to have to, at the end of the day, go through and watch this whole thing and try and get all of where everybody's from because I want to be able to give you guys this. Oh, did they actually announce that they don't want a pitch invasion because of potential point penalties? That would be frustrating, but what are you going to do? Man, I don't know how I'm going to manage this now. Three games. Oh, had an opportunity for a clue worth like half volley, semi volley opportunity. Pim's got the ball for Mansfield in the MK Dons game, and they're battling in the midfield at Barrow. Up the horde, get it going. Oh, I can't. I can't. Then we get to watch League One games. Maybe on Tuesday, we were going to end up watching out of town. Maybe we'd load up League One games and we start scouting because it doesn't matter what happens anymore. We're getting promotion if we if everything sits like this. I don't. We'll watch the rest of them. We'll have fun. We'll be here for the for the crew game and the Stockport game, and they can get their trophy. Uh, I think. I think they. Because they have a game in hand and they play on Tuesday, they could clinch. Yes just off the top of my head, because if they got the three points, they would end up cl clinching that even if we won and they lost out, it wouldn't matter. I'm hoping there's a parade on high street. I've got the only downside is, and it's a, as I do that, who, who do we hate you series where I, I preview all, all the, all the teams to try to describe them to the North American fans, because we don't know a lot about the towns that some of these teams are in. Um, and the stadiums and the history and all that sort of stuff. And so I put together the, do we hate you series and uh, I'm going to have to do a, a whole new 23. I'm in uh, Vancouver, BC, Canada, as FGR has it, and they're moving forward on the right-hand side, still looking for their first shot of the game, and it, they're going to have to deal with a throw-in. Go over to the Mansfield game. There we've got two subs coming in on this one, still up 2-1, 59th minute, just approaching the 60th minute. And in the Barrow game, that red card, remember, Barrow down with a red card, down by a goal, and just starting the second half. I'm having a fit. But yes, hit that like button. A brand new season of Who Are Ya? Do We Hate Ya? Who Are Ya? Who Are Ya? 
Barnett with it, midfield stripe, spinning around. Well done. Able to get it over to Cannon over the right-hand side. He's going to draw it all the way back to Palmer. Still looking for that Mullen hat trick if we can get it. Still looking for subs. I'd like to see Marriott open as an account here. Right, Shubham? The idea of League One two years in a row? I, yeah, I should. Do you think Stunt Peg would come down to a little old me and help me out with the channel and make a couple of things? What's, her, what's Stunt Peg's team? Andrew, how bonkers is this? I am envious that you're there, man. Enjoy the evening and the night that look at, that looks like it's going to be as we wait for this one. Got a New Yorker here. Keep the chats coming. and God, I'm rooting for Donnie because, well, A, my wife's from there, and and, and that's where the in-laws are. It means I, I can actually st still potentially go to a Donnie Wrexham game because I missed this one because we were expecting to have to move, and that's not happening until June. Grimsby goes up 2-0 on crew. Let's update the scoreboard on that one. The, the flop meter, not getting any work today. Uh, <laughs> that one will have to take a break as I'm having a fit. Holy, we run up to 1740. See, at what point are we just getting greedy, Joke Sporo? At what point are we just getting greedy? <laughs> We're looking for hat trick. We're up 4-0. We're looking for promotion. <clears throat> I think the stream elements is lagged and so it's collecting them. This this is a new experience. I've never seen this before where all of a sudden they come ring, streaming in and I think it just takes a while for stream to, up, to update it. Walsall, red card. Thank you, W and G. Chris, you nutter. I, <laughs> you absolutely beauty of a soul. Instagram me, Twitter add me. I want to chat, man. I want to chat. I want to chat as this is going to happen as we're just having a good time. Everybody's getting a subscription today. Thanks to Chris and the glory that he's just nuts. You beautiful, beautiful soul. It's going to take a while for everybody to do that. And if you haven't turned on the membership, click that little 50 button in the chat, the 50 button at the top of the chat and turn on the gift subscription so you can get one as we've got a spill 60 second minute MK Dons and Mansfield having a fall over there. And then we're going to get, is there going to get a card anyway? No, just going over to make sure they're okay. Shagging all the sheep. We are Rex and that's And we're going to win the league. Ole, ole, ole. Tried to get an amazing pass over to Barnett on the right-hand side. It's raining subs. It's a glorious day. We're having a ton of fun in this one. This is absolutely amazing. Can't even keep up with the chat. The, 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 everybody's getting gifts from, from Chris. My system is lagged. I got to get a new graphic card because my system's just like there's too much going on. And my brain is fried. I literally have three games. I wish I could take a picture of what this looks like in front of me right now. Actually, I might even go and see if my wife will give me her phone to take a picture. Because I've, I've got the screen that I'm on with you guys. I've got the I've got the laptop playing one. I've got the phone playing the Gillingham game. I've got the MK Dons on my kid's freaking iPad. <laughs> Anti-Welsh chanting. Everybody's going to jail. 12,000 people going to jail now. What are they doing? Oh, it is. it is The sound here is, and everybody's been on their feet jumping up and down, and then they had to announce no penal, no pitch invasion because they don't want to deal with point deductions and penalties. So I, I'm going to have to figure that out, right? Uh, do something. I'm going to have to do something. <laughs> the joys of being an international fan, right? And we got Rexamites in here trying and join the community and having some fun. Is the MK Dons in a dangerous territory here moving forward on the left hand side? 18 yard box. We at Mansfield. We Mansfield. Chris, slow down, my friend. Not every subscriber needs to have a membership, but I love you, man. <laughs> MK Dons with it over on the right-hand side. Draws it in, 18-yard box. Somebody stop this, clear this over. MK Dons sniffing, looking to try and draw equal. Cross coming. Oh, he danced around. Two guys cross into the box, and there's the clearance for the Mansfield. Woo! Bullet dodged. And in the other game, Gillingham going to get a corner on the left-hand side. Well, I'm just bouncing around and having fun with this one. Carla just became a sponsor. Come on, Wrexham. That's also true. That's also true. So it's going to be a right-footed in-swinger for Gillingham looking to go two up. There it is into the far post. Knocked down. It's still there. Partially cleared, but got stepped on. And the ref blows it down. I don't know if he calls a foul. I don't know if that's because of injury. Um, but Mansfield's going to have a throw-in on the MK Dons game. And we're just trottling about in the midfield stripe. Flipped forward. McLean, space, left foot, far post. Barnett's there. 
Barnett, holy cow, what a goal! <laughs> What's going on? Screamer, volley, right footed. Barney scores one and he says, I can do this again. Absolute cracker. That might be goal of the year. Forget about it. That was bullets. That was bullets. Off the volley on the McLean entry in, and he just threw that one in there. And yeah, no spoilers, please. But oh my word, that just, there's nothing like that's just far post absolute cracker of a shot. <laughs> Get that one on the replay. Watch that one on the replay. Like that is absolutely nuts. And Mr. Ryan Barnett, here you go. <laughs> what is happening? Five nil, 15 shots. We haven't let them have a shot. They haven't had a shot. We're still Mansfield up and they're going to have a corner here. The Dons are 66th minute. Still in good shape there. They, they take the short corner, fortunately for us. Holy cow. Let's get married out there and have this. Epic actually applies. Yes. This is one where epic, the word epic actually applies. And it absolutely does. 16 shots. Oh, I got us up to 15. There's 16. Six nothing for the Mullen hat trick. I would take a Marriott goal as well. MK Don's 18 yard box still looking nice. Little tackle knocks it out, but they're going to get a throw in uh, just 10 yards out from the goal line. Nice that they have their five yards well defined. Another corner in the Gillingham game. Going to be a right footed in swinger on this one as they try to go up there in their 55th minute. Here it comes. Entry far post into the box and it's cleared out. I think is it going to go for another corner off the opposite side? Nope. MK or MK Barrow still able to keep that in. Gillingham, lots of men in the box. Cross. It's still there. Would love for them to go up by an extra goal. That's That would be Chris. His name is Chris, and he's an absolute saint. Um, just flooding out the subscriptions. And I At least I think. Sandy's thrown out subscriptions earlier, so we are not. No, we are announcing ourselves. We are announcing ourselves. Speaking from our chest, as Ariana Grande would say. Full bellow, screaming into the night. Oh, it's going to be a good day to be in Wrexham. We're lined up for it. 800 viewers breaking the record. Looking, subscribers are good. Likes are great. Everybody have some fun with this one. What do you, the, a golden sheet? <laughs> Diarrhea? No, I don't know. Um, man, the whole, all of Wrexham is going to be nuts today. We've got a goal. We've got a goal. Out of town scoreboard. Jillian them. Gillingham makes it 2 0. <laughs> I didn't see it. I just saw what I was celebrating. There's so much going on, and I'm trying to follow it. They're in control. They're up a man. Uh, that one, you, you can put, a f we're largely watching the MK Dons game as Mansfield into the 18 yard box. I'll delay the scoreboard update. Right hand side, we've got it. Cannon in. Oh, he would have been offside if he touched it. Mansfield's still sniffing around. What's going on? I'm having a fit. It's up in the air, and MK Dons is going to end up clearing that out to the half, which gives me an opportunity to update the scoreboard as Julian M is up 2 0. They're just saying, I haven't seen a goal like that one that Barty scored in a number of seasons. I'm telling you, watch the highlight. Like, he leans into that one. Like, in hockey, that's full clapper, right? Top shelf money. MK Don screaming down the left-hand side into the penalty area. Left footer. Big save. Woo -hoo -hoo. Big save. Pim doing magic. Gotta love Pim. Just still swarming here. Still swarming here. Just going up. Palmer's offside so he doesn't touch it. <coughs> <laughs> Luke's daydreaming of how drunk he's going to get. It's promotion madness. The owner pays off his mortgage today. Uh... <laughs> this is... Would love to have the Mullen hat trick. I... Do we put the poll out there? Put out another poll? Let's let's end this Let's end this poll. And I'm going to put out one more poll. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. End poll. 
And we're going to add another poll. What's left to do? What is left to do today? Mullen hat trick. Allow no shots. Uh, Marriott gets a goal. Or what's the other option? Uh, just celebrate the day. Start a poll. Fire that one up and you guys can have a say on that. MK Don's with it now. 18 yards there inside the box. Out right-hand side. Looking to get a cross in now. MK Don's is putting the pressure on in the Mansfield's just defending. They're looking to Pim to, to end up saving this one. Um, MK Don's has to score twice for us not to move forward. Barrow would have to score three times for us not to get promoted. FGR would have to score six times for us not to get promoted. Um, Oh, no, I guess five. A tie would technically do it, I guess. Wouldn't be enough on the points. And a giveaway, MK Don's, a, a giveaway simultaneously in both, on both. Doncaster just thumping the crap out of Accrington, eh? Not yet, but we are catching Chester. Want to catch Chester FC and have more than, as MK Don's, there's a shot. Ooh, just missed a foot and a half to the outside post. MK Don's game is in the 71st minute. Uh, just about just about to hit 71 minutes on the clock. Gillingham game is at the 60th minute. I don't know what to do when this one's over. Do I jump over to the after 90 minutes and we watch the Gillingham game uh, while we're over there? Do I keep watching it here? I might send the message out and say uh, after. Well, i got to take my kid to dance too. So uh, I think I'm going to have to go to the after 90 minutes and just and watch it there and we'll have to wait. I'll have 10 minutes. Maybe I can set up the graphic while we're doing this. I'm multitasking all over the place. We're having a good time. I'm where I'm watching live and I'll hit the live button again to see if I can bump it forward. I'm at 71 minutes, 33 seconds. So I'm a, I'm, I'm a little bit behind and I am probably about 45 seconds behind because where that, where the, uh, it was announced here that they, they scored and I went over and still had 30 seconds. The Wrexham's pushing merch. That's okay. Check them out. I want to get my own merch. Should I get my own merch? That's a thing. I don't know. My computer is just getting worn out here from all the texts and screams, and I'm going to have to upgrade thing. As long as your clothes are on, Thomas, you do what you want to do. You want to dance? I am all for it. <laughs> Crazy, right? I'm going to get over a 1,000 views concurrent live. I don't even know what that means for my total view count. MK Don's with it now, outside the box, spinning. They've just been swarming and continuing to come. FJR looking for their first shot, potentially, and they flip it up over, and it's going to go harmlessly. And then MK Don's pushes it out the left-hand side, and that goes harmlessly. Everything is looking up good. So this they, MK Don's just not able to connect here. As this cross went forward, and, oh, and he it was right there. And just completely whiffed on. Completely whiffed on. Thanks, man. <laughs> I appreciate it, Magic Dude. Uh, it's like, it's. are you comparing my commentary to D Doug and Bob McKenzie doing sports? Because that'd be, that'd, be that'd be class. I should do my own merch. I'm going to have to watch this whole thing over just to watch the chat. Unless, Brendan, you've been writing down the countries that everybody's from. Palmer is going out with the subs. Fletcher coming in. Jordan Davis coming in. Take off, eh, ya hoser. Ya hoser. Maybe that's a <laughs> that, – I'm going to do that as a – what do I – what happens when I go to the AI and say, make me an, a hoser? Um, Cannon coming in for Davis. Oh, get your own merch, please. Interesting. Okay. Kia ora, John Rushton. Lots of love for New Zealand. I used to live in Taranaki. Greens from Venezuela. I thought Venezuela was one of the countries. It is one of the countries I'm looking for. Yeah. Collision. Oof. Mansfield player, MK Don's keeper. MK Don's keeper splayed out on the ground. They got, came screaming in. That's a headshot. Almost had a Fletcher goal in our game. I'm trying to find out what happened here. We're, we're going to get some added time. He is now moving. 
Mansfield with it gets it. So it's a chip up over the middle. No, it's a pass through the middle. Ooh, he took a foot, a left foot right to the face. Yow. Ball came up coming on the floor. Mansfield attacker going to go and, and, and take a swing at it goes full force to try and push that into the box. And the goalkeeper comes screaming in to try and stop it. And he, he wore that right in the face, right in the face. <laughs> yeah, potentially. Potentially. The Wrexham hot take will be a hoot. The after 90 minutes will be a hoot. You'd love to have a sh All right, then I will be doing some merch up. Following from Indonesia. appreciate that. Oh my God, my kids are screaming. Come on, Wrexham here in Denmark. See, this is the stuff that's awesome. Around the world in Wrexham, we got Wrexhamites here. They're queued up for the party. It's this is just madness. Just scored, just scored, just scored, and there's Goofy with the update three nil. You you queued that one, Deandra, or else you knew and you were just telling me in advance to have a look. Gillingham just scored. I haven't seen the highlight. They're still celebrating it, but let me give you the update. There is things are good. Like it's over. It's over. Celebrate this one. Hey from Mexico. Oh, and of course now I get the spinning wheel of death on my phone. So long, long entry from the midfield stripe and just right over top. That was a beautiful long ball. You couldn't make up, you couldn't draft up a long ball any better than that. Like literally split the, the, the forward, split the defender and the ball just missed his head, lands right at his foot and he pushes it past him on the right-hand side and Gillingham helping us out. 3-0, <laughs> way to go, Jilly Gilly. <laughs> I got to wait for that one to come up. Oh, what am I doing here? What's my name? I'm going to update the... The score in the Gillingham game. What a glorious bloody day. Celebrate, have some fun, hug your kids, scream into the scream at the moon. Do whatever you want to do. Oh, it's madder than mad, Jack. Local boy. Davis is out there. Davis is out there. He got subbed out. Way to go, gilly jilly. Jilly gilly, jilly jelly. I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> I'm like no one can see us, eh? Uh, you could be nude. I hope you're not nude. My, my internet, like, what a stream and man. Oh, hey, thanks, Chris. This has been a blast. Absolute cracker of a game. You, sir, are an absolute gem of a human being. It's been nuts here. My computer. I gotta get. I'm now choppy. And I don't even know what's going on. Uh, I should probably shut some stuff down is what should happen. You guys, the 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 chat can't hold you. You're, you're blowing it up. I do have to add a new graphics card. 3-0 still, 65th minute in Gillingham. 77 minutes and 40 seconds in the MK Dons Mansfield game. I would largely say that that's the one to worry about. And now... Man, how do you capture all of this one? We're up to 939 live streamers on this one. We've got three games in front of us trying to get all this one. And the bots will block all caps. So, yeah, be careful with that one. I don't want people getting timed out coming in here for the first time. Like buttons down below. Name is Sean Driver, the Red Horde. Do Wrexham all the time. Uh, and I'm probably going to do some Canadian internationals um, in the break because I'm going to need something. Is Oh, Barrow looking to get something in. Cross into the box. Barrow looking to find something. Gillingham comes back, clears it out of danger, but just temporarily as FJR still looking for their first shot of the game, moving forward with a potential threat in this game. And we've got subs in the MK Dons match as Kemp comes in. And why was Kemp on the bench? There have been some weird decisions. The whole Keller Dunn thing sitting on the bench um, when he's their best player. And that's their first save. Hey. Yeah, it's amazing, right? And that's having a thousand viewers here. Now's the time. Hit that subscriber button and join the party, right? Um, support along. We're here for every every watch party. I put out hoarder videos. We have a lot of fun, and uh, I will put that 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 shot up right now. Bing, and we're up to eighteen on our end. My poor computer. Every time I move around.
I don't even know. I haven't even really thought about that, but I'm going to have to figure it out, aren't I? Um, we'll put something together. But that would be sweet if everybody hits hits the hits the like and hits the subscribe button, follows along. MK or Mansfield moving forward, right hand side, eighteen yard box, slowing it down, waiting for men to get up in the box. That held up nicely. Cross entered into the box towards the goal line, drawn back, but ah, into the feet of an MK Don's defender, and it's going to go the other way. Has to be, yeah, it has to be. And and I think the big thing is is the curiosity for oh, we've got somebody down. Physio is going to come on. Is that Mullen down? He's. Oof. I would sure love another Mansfield goal to, to secure things, especially like 81st minute. MK Dons have to score twice and ooh, they've got an opportunity there. Ooh, nice little backtrack to come forward. And here we go in our game. MK Don uh, Mullen gets it up to Fletcher. Fletcher, left-hand side. Over towards the goal line. He's got McLean. Serve it up. End of the box. Lee now with an 18-yard area. Craw hammered it. Mullen tries to get a header on and he can. It just goes wide. Neds, welcome to the party. Appreciate you having you here. And there come the subscribe flood that Stream Elements does. It just It's backlogging today for whatever reason. And that's fine. I'm doing them 10 at a time. Trying to catch Chester FC. They're still a ways ahead of me. I still got 2,000 to go, but a year and a half, and you can narrow that down to a year today. <laughs> it's a blast, isn't it, Sharky? Like, we've had, when we started this, I think there was like maybe 10 or 15 people on my stream. Uh, Brandon's been here since the start. Andrew, uh, who came in earlier since the start. Sandy from early on. Kim's been here from so early on that I think it was essentially the start. There's been a whole bunch of us. Um, and I, I apologize if I've missed any of the OGs. Um, and we've had like Grimm's plays and those, and some of the guys that have been paying for the memberships for four or five months. It's been, it's been awesome to build and I'm looking forward to continuing to improve everything. I actually just sent off an invoice to improve on everything for next season. Uh, and so already starting to work on that and, uh, Mansfield coming into the box. It's right there. Keller done. Oh, heavy touch. And he knocked it out by himself. He had it open in the right in front of the box to put that one out of touch and he didn't do it. 1800 oh my god indeed it is a nutty day and we just keep on having fun as we're watching this 80 minutes just ticked over in our game they're at 70 minutes in the Jillian and barrel game and the Kaler done with a bad first touch for mansfield literally 10 yards out nine yards out well, he would have had options and he stuffed it he stuffed it can take mullen off and save him for the for the other thing about oh FGR coming forward and ah, bad back pass and it goes all to waste. But FGR is able to collect it again and misses the shot. MK Dons cross into the box. Far post, it's there. Dangerous and cleared away. Woo -hoo -hoo, that was scary. 82nd minute is MK Dons still coming. That game's not over. It's 3 nothing. Jillian and Barrow. Um, and Barrow down a man as that takes a weird deflection. Mansfield just scraping right now, scrambling, trying to hold on. And clear down, is that going to find the, the touch line? It does. And so it'll be an MK Don's throw in uh, from the midfield stripe. Holy moly. Happy Michigander. <laughs> I just found out that the Canadian OG sounds like, oh, geez. Oh, geez, eh? Marriott coming in. Volton coming in for Barnett. And whoa, we're going to get a free kick in the MK Don's game from 28 yards out. Yellow card being flashed. My word. It's a beautiful, crazy, bonkers day as we continue to watch all three trying to keep track of what's going on. Thanks, Crown. I appreciate you guys. Like, my my chat's frozen. I can't bring up the, the in-body stuff because there's so much happening. <laughs> my, I'm missing la rendering lag at 26%. Um. So Mullen's out. So now we're looking for the Marriott. Did I have Idaho on the list? Oh, yeah, we do have Idaho on the list. So let's cross that one off. I'm leaning on you, Brendan, if you're there, hopefully to draw some of those down. I'm going to end up having to watch. Don, we'll have to watch this. American Falls. Uh, that was 
the worst free kick, fortunately, take that the world has ever seen is that gets skied 30 feet above the goal. Nothing there. And Kemp took that one. The sub that came in who had all of the magic uh, early in the season kind of slowing down. And here's the question. If somebody had the time to look this one up. Is um, I think Mullins got a real opportunity now to potentially get leading score despite missing the first seven. Norway, I'm with you, Oyster. We're celebrating all over the place. It's a bonkers day, 83 minutes away from securing our... Almost had a chance to get in. I would love to see Marriott get a goal here. Lee with it, flicks it over to McLean. McLean cross, Marriott! <laughs> you want I don't even know what to say. You wanted it. You asked for it. You got it. I just said I would love for Marriott to get it today. I'm so pixelated. I'm pixelated. I'm titivated. I am freaking excited. It is 6 0 for the good guys as Marriott scores a beauty of a first goal on an entry from McLean on the left hand side. And he just gets his right foot onto it, slams that thing in. Let's go. It's 6 0, baby. Marriott doesn't have a song, so I'll do one up. Uh, that went too high. Um, great stuff. That's was Fletcher gets it to Lee. Lee gets it over to McLean. McLean near post and Marriott just right foot entry in. Celebrate. Let's go. Yes. Yes. Two goals behind. Thank you, David Wood. Mullen is now two goals behind Langstaff for the top. It's nil. Oh, baby. <laughs> Mark Griffiths. Come on. Keep going. 1,000 watching. Love all of you. We've we've strangled the crap out of my computer with everything's going on, and I'm trying to find a way to slow down uh, the stuff. I've ordered a new graphic card to improve in things, so that will get better over time. <coughs> as you guys seem to be enjoying as much this as much as I do making it. So, um, well done. Well done. Uruguay. I actually have had a Uruguay person before. We want seven. Void's getting greedy. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Scores. I do scores, not goal. The Canadian one is scores. And that's so that's what intuitively and instinctively comes out. I've been trying to change it, but I don't know what to do. 19 shots to one. Up 6-0. We're having a party. It's still 2-1 at Milton Keynes. Mansfield taking the lead. Pim's holding the ball and wasting some time. Ref's calling for... Ta they're asking for time wasting. Pim gives it an extra dribble. And there goes the thump down the pitch. The score just comes up 6-0 at the on the Gillingham game that I'm watching. So that's going to wipe out Barrow. It's, it's, what a glorious day. What a glorious fake freaking day. Oh, we got pushing and shoving in the Mansfield MK Dons game. I don't know what led up to this, but this is number 15 getting grabbed by his players and from Mansfield and around the face. And he must have been the one that stirred it up because they're coming after him. Uh, I don't know what this will happen. The referees pulled himself out from the mob. Reaching into his pocket. And it's going to be yellow. He had a heavy thought about that. And so this is Lewis. Wrexham at 20 shots. I got it. I'm going to come back to the chat and add things. I'm trying to watch what's going on here. Lewis gets a yellow card. Still 3 nothing in in, in uh, the Barrow game. The fans are on their feet. They're all standing. If you're not watching this, like there, there's nobody sitting in the stands. Everybody's into this as we've got the ball here. We're still waiting to see what happens. Oh, Gilby's getting a yellow card as well. So lots of yellow cards flashing. Marriott with it. Ah, couldn't get it to Fletcher. And Mansfield's going to get it on the drop. Haven't seen a replay as to what exactly transpired, but they kind of had a little bit of a brouhaha. And yellow cards went flying out to everybody. As we are, like, all the fans are chatting and having a great time. Let's go. This is so much fun. Hey, Michael, I'm glad. I'm happy. Like, this is, you can thank me, but I'm doing, hey, Venezuela's, I think I've, I, that's, I, I needed Venezuela. Oh, we've got an opportunity. Fletcher! Oh, blocked and it's cleared away. It's, it's, keeper was out of it. Had a chance. Oh, dangerous tackle on McLean. And McLean says no, and it's going to be a freak, uh, going to be a throw-in for the other. For who are we playing? FJR. That's who we're playing. Oh man, 1,081 live viewers pulling in on this one. Is we've got another yellow card in the MK Dons game. They're getting close to 90 minutes. They're going to have uh, a whole lot of out of time there. 
and I think I'm going to try to set up the uh, the after 90 minutes and get to it, and then hopefully be able to have time to do the Gillingham thing. Is I'd like to be able to welcome everybody from everybody else's streams, or do I just stay here for? I'm going to stay here for a little bit until these ones are over. Um, I'm going to put a tweet out. Don't forget to sing when you win. Absolutely. Mansfield clearing the ball. Right-hand side. Got an opportunity here. Are we free and clear on a break? Could go up 3-1 here. Put it to bed. Put it to bed. Put it to bed. Yeah! Mansfield scores. We're up 3-1. Put it to bed, baby. We're getting promotion. There's no way. There's no way that they come back from this now. Mansfield uh, goes up 3-1. to one. How We're going to League 1, and they got to be celebrating that in Wrexham. You're going to hear the, the volume get louder. Is this is an absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, wonderful, splendid day? I'm just the 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 crowd must have got word because it just got loud there. It just got loud there, and they're celebrating and having a good one. You're having a good one. I'm having. We're yeah. They just announced it, and that's why they're announcing it there. Oh my word! I gotta get that score up. Where are you? Where are you? How come I can't find you? There you are. 3 1 Mansfield. We can put it to bed. Whew. We're going to League One, guys. Gals. We're going to. I don't know who's going to be there. Derby, Derby County, Bolton. Are we getting Sheffield Wednesday coming down? Huddersfield coming down? Ha. Huh. We are going to be the eighth team since 2002 to do the back-to-back -back promotions going up. 33% um, of the time, I guess, is how it works out. Um, still an impressive achievement and, and outstanding. Just so that you're aware, only three teams have gone up in the last 24 years up into the championship. Luton Town, Doncaster, Exeter City. Hoping that we can be one as Mansfield's looking to do another one. 4-1! Four, one! <laughs> 4-1 Mansfield, another beautiful, uh, just mall of mobbing them now, eight minutes of added time in that game. So they're, they're because of all everything that's going on, and they are celebrating in front of the away fans, and all the away, all the away fans, the stewards are screaming at them, but all of the away fans are running on the tarp down towards the pitch in the MK Dons game with Mansfield. That's fascinating. If you haven't seen the Milton Keynes Stadium, they actually put tarps up and block down the whole away section um, down towards the stands, and, and the MK Dan's Don's fan said, "Stuff it, we're going down, we're going down." Woo wee! Six minutes of added time in this one, eight minutes in that one, and we're still ten minutes away from finding out what's left in Gillingham. It is a magical, splendid, wonderful day. League One, there you go, Brendan. League One. Four one, and they just found out on the broadcast and said it's over. And I absolutely agree. Twelve hundred watch, and congrats! Hey, no, it, this is awesome. You guys uh, that have been here for the outset, uh, watching it, Chris supporting things, Brandon with the stuff, W and G who sits at home and follows and updates all the scores and all that sort of stuff. Um, Kim with the wit and the insight, as she's got eyes on quite frequently. Like this is all a community that's con contributing to this whole process, and long may it continue. We're going to League One. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. Hey, DeAndre, you're welcome. Everybody's so happy. Sing it out. Rise into promotion. FDR coming forward. I don't know what to do. You know what? Let's just soak this in and enjoy it. Forest Green looking to try and spoil things, but it just gets cleared out. And are we looking for five? Mansfield pushing forward. Left footer blocked, and it goes clear. Chris. Ha, ha, ha. You beautiful soul. Um, it's, it's a day, man. Everybody have a celebrate a celebratory drink. I can, I got to go drag my kids to a dance class after this, um, do the after 90 minutes and then get out of here by 10 30 my time. But, but yes. Oh, by far new record by far new record. My I've throttled the record on Tuesday when I gained 60. Um, the, oh man, the smiles, they're showing McFadden's face. He's celebrating. Palmer, everybody knows. Every, like That's the cool part is everybody knows now. This is almost as good as you can get on a day where you're winning. Um, and having to watch the out-of-town scoreboard is that it's going so well out of town that you know Ogonquo with, with the save. FGR goes and he's going to grab and collect it. Uh, nah. Nah. Nobody's reached out to me. Um, but I wouldn't care. I, I just want... I, the whole reason I did this was just to have fun and bring community because I was feeling like I was missing out. 
and and it's happening and it's happening we've got a nice little group of people who come here oh somebody pulled a a smoke thing out in the Wrexham match yes to the dutch fans league 1 league 1 oh my word i can't even imagine like for me this is dreamy I can't even imagine for Wrexham fans who started at 15 years in the National League to end up thinking that they potentially are going to have like real solid teams with Premier League history um, that are, that are, that are potentially going to be in that we're we're going we're going to oh, those are the away games that we get next year like this is going to be so much fun uh, just continued fun so subscribe while you're here stick along for the journey um, because we're into this and 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 next year it was going to be very different we're we're not going to piss League One. Uh, I'm hoping for 20th place. Well, I'm not hoping for 20th, but just at least 20th, and keep us keep us in League One, and do it. Just our little little group, 1845. Like what? Have, what did I start at today? I was look. I was wondering if I could get to 1600. I was thinking I could get to 1600 today. 145 weather gay guy you're welcome man this has been a great day we're still looking for one here as they're getting three minutes away from playing and oh the fans are all around the uh, there's going to be a pitch invasion they're all standing right around the goal line they're already over the embankment and ready to scream in this is going to happen and it's it's off in two minutes Oh yes, League One is that much more competitive, one hundred percent, and more expensive. And we've got we've got contracts that we have to hold on to, and we've got contracts to fill. Um, we are whoa shot Ogonko, great save, and then cleared out. Whoo! The fans are like standing on the pitch during the match. The fans are on the pitch. I hope that th that doesn't come with any significant problems. Grim, you missed the cracker, man. Grim, one of the OGs, um, been here for a while. Six nil. It's been and Mansfield is up and J Gillingham is up and we're going to League One. Grim, we're going to League One, man. And uh, 1880 on the subscriber stuff. We've been all over the board. WG still working. <laughs> Love you, man. WG still giving us the updates uh, as this one goes through. I've missed a ton of them. Um, we're going to be working on the out of town scoreboard for sure, and I want to connect with that. Just don't play the AO chant. I'm not touching it. I played it last time and 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 it ruined it reverse jinxed everything. Is Davis uh holds on everybody's cuddling up. Didn't need it. Didn't need a good luck hat. There's the whistle. There's the whistle, and here come the fans screaming onto the pitch. We are gonna oh yes, this is gorgeous to see. No team has done it in 24 elite seasons. No team has gone up. Uh, only three teams have gone up at all from National League up into the championship. So we need to set our expectations. But for right now, celebrate as the smoke bombs are going off. Everything's celebrating. We're not even watching the rest of it. Oh, man. The pictures are out there. The smoke bombs are going. Views for days. Lives for days always possible and let's go for it you know what i mean let's sneak into the playoffs and get it done let's i don't even care tan celebrate wherever you are we're in league one baby Woo i don't even know what to say i'm just smiling i'm just happy up the damn town Thank you, Mansfield. Thank you, Gillingham. Thank you, everybody. Before you go, hit that subscribe button. Hey, we're doing this still. We're going to go after the after 90 minutes. And I, I suspect I've got to leave in an hour, but I'm probably going to hand the keys over to Josh. I'm sure he's going to be there. And this one might go long into the night where we all end up having a chit chat and a celebration. I'm going to, while we're doing this, I'm going to watch the Gillingham stuff. Um, and, and we're going to bounce over to the after 90 minutes at some point in time here. And so... I'm going to close that one off and I've got to get the graphic ready. And so I'll do this live while we enjoy, enjoy this as it's mobs, it's mobs everywhere. It's mobs everywhere, but yes, believe. Hey, thanks fresh wind. I appreciate that. 1892 before you leave. And, and, and if you haven't had the chance, subscribe button, like button, 
full time whistle is about to go over in the Mansfield Man MK Dons game. That'll wrap that one up for sure, which we know it's long over. But yeah, from 1590 all the way up, I was here. Mark your territory. This is where we were. Had a blast this season. Crazy, crazy, crazy day. It's over in Mansfield. 4 1 official. Turn that one off. Yeehaw! They're at the 88th minute just to settle everything off. There would have to be. Could you imagine Barrow, a man down, coming up with uh, three goals, four goals in the last uh, eight minutes to ruin this? Not going to happen. But man, the, it, the whole season's been a blast. You guys have been a blast. Um, and, and long may this continue. I'm looking forward to next season, building up the and improving on things, getting the graphic card, making sure I can do more stuff. And uh, back to back promotion. Mullen standing up, celebrating, cheering. There's going to be some photos from today. There's going to be some. Oh, man. Worldwide Wrexham indeed, Michael. Up the damn town. I hope everybody's got a smile on their face as big as I do right now. Because this is just absolutely glorious to be a part of, to watch, to have a little tiny part of the Wrexham community that you guys are joining in. Welsh flag. Whew. Wrexham AFC, you absolute glorious souls for what you've brought, bringing excitement, joy, happiness, uh, getting the job done. The eat more chips flag proudly on display. Oh, my word. 6-0 against FGR to secure your place in League One. I appreciate that, Jennifer. Yeah, Mike Scott, what, what happens though when it's no longer lower league? Hmm? Hmm? No, <laughs> but it, this has been so much fun. This has been so much fun. Um, I, I really do have to improve the system. I'm, the text message running through. Andrew was there. He still is there. Matt's there. Everybody, like... It's, this is just too much fun, too much fun. And I got to lock this up and oh, come on. I'm setting the graphic up for the after 90 minutes, but I want to stay with you guys and have a bit of a chat here while we do this is we're having a celebration. Is some it's not working today. Oh, that one worked. Okay, we got it, and I can download that. And this is all stuff that I normally do live or off the screen off the stream as we go through everything. Is just try to get the graphics ready for the restream. As we'll do the after the ninety minutes and unpack this whole thing. Is there are hugs? Fletcher's getting hugs everywhere. Is that Caleb? Sean Winters? No. I'm absolutely psyched. Sam, I appreciate the, the, all that sort of stuff. <laughs> Hiding. That's the one that we want. Just subscribe from Seattle. Hey, 1900. This is nuts. Like, I can't believe this. Um, three games all being chatted. We were going to watch the Tuesday games. I don't know if we're going to I'll connect with Josh because there's really no point doing it. We were going to watch the out-of-town scoreboard just in case there was a clinch scenario that's going on. Do I really want to do it now? Not really. Not really. I'd rather work on other things. But uh, I will. we will be here for the crew game. We will be here for stock Stockport as we run through that. It's all the singing. Oh, everywhere we go. We are moving up, Waffles. <coughs> From Colombia, from Brazil, from Argentina, we got Norway, we've had the Shetland Islands today, um, the Philippines, Chattanooga, Tennessee, Ron Sutton, we've had Idaho came off the list, Newfoundland came off the list, we've had people from all over the globe, South Africa was here, I believe Nigeria was here, Switzerland obviously, Chris, um, the United States all over the place, um, all joining and connecting and having a good time right? Having a blast with a newfound love. Chile, uh, oh, oh, of course, Kanakistan. Um, it's 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 fun to, to find people who have found a passion or have, have found people who have found new passion in the Rexamites that have been there forever and to bring them in here. Kuwait, add that one to the list. South Yorkshire. Beautiful place at South Yorkshire. I always got time for it. 
Bawtree, one of my favorite places, to be fair. Re- big fan of Bawtree. But it's Malaysia. It, it, it's, it's just... It's Chef Galistan. <laughs> See, and Sam, so are you excited about... Are we cheering against Sheffield Wednesday now? Do we want them to go down so that they can end up Wrexham Sheffield Wednesday? Like, that's just nuts. The Hawaii chapter, Alabama. We, I do have Finland. Um, I missed one. I'm going to have to go through there and dump all this stuff out. It's just been, this is kind of what I wanted. This is what I, when I started this whole thing and was like, I'm watching these games and I'm having fun doing it, but I'm missing chatting with people. I'm missing having a beer. I'm missing talking about the stuff that I saw. Did I see that the way that they saw it? And now I do that in the chat. We all end up chatting. Oh, the clock is still running. <laughs> I'm not paying attention to anything. I'm just having a good time. Whew. Okay. So I've got to. I'm going to, I'm going to, they're still waiting on the Gillingham game and I'm going to just message the mob and just say, I might be a little while getting to the after 90. We're having fun over here. Um, messages. Hey man, I'm slammed this week. All right. So coming soon, just wrapping up. I don't want to lose you guys. So this is what I'm going to do is I, I, I'm going to, when we shut this down, after this, oh, and I've got rid of the scoreboard entirely. When we when we move from here over to the after 90, the socials, I'm at the Red Horde everywhere, although I don't have time to keep up on the socials. So that'll be one of the things I'm going to be talking about, not me crying. See? Exactly. Um, we're going to go after the after 90 minutes and and, and de- decompress this and have a chat. And I wish, would love for all of you guys to come and join. So I want to make sure that I, I, I end up pinning this and and giving you guys the link it is on the channel you'll go to the live you can go to the after 90 minutes and you can click here go here go over there enter this and if i hit that's going to be the link for the youtube and i'm going to pin it up at the top if i can oh it's not going to let me of course it's not going to let me um but click that link and, and head over there. I've got to find a way to link that or pin it so that you guys can go over when you're ready. So just let me let me do that. <coughs> Santiago, and that's part of the thing is for people who don't have access, they find a way to get connection. For those that, that eventually are able to get connection, that they can find their way to do it. That's why grab your drinks, do your thing, um, celebrate what is a, a, a glorious, wonderful, amazing, spectacular, fabulous day, right? Pin message. Message pinned. So there should be that message now pinned at the top of the chat that you can go over and watch the watch party. I'll put pin the link there that you'll be able to chat with us. Um, before I end up wrapping this one up, is the Gillingham game is over. It's official. It's official, although there was no doubt. We're promoted to League One. <sighs> promoted league one my wife's in the room and she's just looked over and gave me the ah. <laughs> so it's everybody's feeling some good news um an absolutely cracker of a day on the channel and i don't want it to, to end so we've i've got about an hour and a bit to do the after 90 minutes and uh and i want to go over there and connect with the people that were watching on the local pundit watching uh live at the game the people that are walking about who are probably going to look to join in at some point in time during the day that's the good pin so click on that pin, make your way over there. I have, I will be about five minutes. You know what? I'll even do it so that it's, it's a smooth jump. I'm going to log in to, and set up everything. So ignore me. I'm not, I'm ignoring the chat now because I'm just going to set everything up so that we're ready to go when we're ready to go. Holy moly. I don't even want to take the feed off. I, I maybe I'll, I'm going to bring it up. On, I'm going to change feeds. They're starting to clear out at the stand, but I'm going to try and bring it up on my phone and I'm going to set us up for the after 90 minutes live while we do this so that it's a smooth transition. And I basically, as soon as I jump over there, you guys can jump over as we just go through and talk about an absolute beast of a performance, right? Like it, it was an absolute beast of a performance Um, started early and continued all the way through almost had the, almost had the, (laughs) 
Um, the hat trick from Moles, glorious goal from Barnett that you guys, if you didn't get a chance to watch it, you're going to have to watch it. That was just, it was, that was something special. I've got to, oh, I didn't download it from Canva. See, there's a deficiency in my ability to follow along is that I've got the graphics all downloaded and I didn't move them over. So I'm going to have to slow down as I get that all done. And I'm probably going to be pixelated as all hell as my computer can't handle everything that's all going on. But it won't take me long to get there. So let's just get there. Don't have to worry about talking about magic numbers anymore. We're in League One. So start to look at the teams that, that, you, that we get to play here. It, it's, it's just going to be a good time. An absolute cracker of an event. Oh, God, my heart is racing. I'm just happy. How, how glorious is this? And the magic that's happening in Wrexham continues. It's a town that was down on its, on its luck and, and it's booming. It's got tourism dollars are flowing through it. People are excited to head over. Um, it's, it's, it, it's a city on the move. It's a town on the move. It's the club on the, oh. Man, and we're a small little piece and a small little part of it, and it's just exciting to be doing our thing, right? So extract all, pull the graphics, replace. Yeah, that's fine. Put them up into the thing here. The chats go. The chats going on the after ninety minutes as people have moved. People have moved over there already. Add the graphics. What's going on here? Are we going to get, there's the question. Are they going to do the open bus tour? Do you think that that's going to happen? I'm curious. Would be a lot of fun. Sorry, just having, I'm so excited. I can't even focus on what I'm supposed to do. That's the reality of the situation for me. So for you, while you're here and I'm stumbling through things, hit the subscribe button, add that one, hit the like button before you leave. Thank you so much to Chris, to everybody that's been following along. I'm just getting through the final little touches over on the stream now. That's going to go up. I can hit this button here and clue that onto the scene. And then I'll be able to jump on live and do our thing over on this one. And here we go. So I am going to shut this one down. I'm going to jump on here just quickly enough, long enough to say goodbye to everybody. You guys are awesome. Uh, hey, let's all go to Vegas. Absolutely. That would be a ton of fun. Hit that like button before you head over. Hit that subscribe button before you head over. This has been a massive day. We are here next Saturday. We're going to largely just celebrate the fact that we're moving up to League One. Maybe we'll talk about what's going on and watch some League One stuff in the background because uh, we are not a part of uh, the fourth tier anymore. We're part of the third tier. It's an epic, epic day. Um, the players did their thing. Parky had them ready to go. Um, we were excited. People were confident going into this one. The poll said it, and they pulled it out. An absolutely beautiful, wonderful miraculous, stupendous, amazing day. And I appreciate that you guys uh, joined me to, to share in some of that. So after 90 minutes, the pinned link is over there. It's down in the description below. You can find it on the, 